silver foil. Cheers, matey. Absolutely. We're hydrating. I feel so hydrated. Same. Liquid death? Yeah. Please. Please sponsor us. <laughs> Please. <laughs> mm. I don't think we have the clout. I don't think we're liquid hey. death clout worthy. Not yet. Not yet. That's right. Not yet. It's only we been seven tens years. Of followers. <laughs> we have tens of followers. <laughs> what has it been, Kurt? Seven years? It's it's like it the, the pandemic it makes it not real anymore. I know because it's like how is that even possible that mm -hmm. it's been that long? And it has been, and we're pushing episode two hundred. That's awesome. Still don't know what we're gonna do, and it's like six episodes away. Yeah, <laughs> this is one ninety four. This is one ninety four, so we literally have six weeks to figure this out until two hundred. Yeah. Oh my gosh. That's awesome. Isn't it? Yeah. It makes no sense. Dude, time. It blows my mind. Yeah. Because we only get 52 of these a year if you do every week. Mm -hmm. We could do more. We could do more. I don't, I don't know if we could, I don't know if I have the capacity to do more. I want to. Yeah. But it's yeah. a lot. I bet. Yeah. It's a lot. I can imagine it takes like a whole lot to actually put into the process. Well, like, Usually we're good, very good about being ahead of ourselves, mm -hmm. and we kind of been lagging because like he'll go out of his place, or I'll go somewhere, or we'll go somewhere together. So like we've been, <laughs> like last week literally was Monday night. Uh oh, no, it was Tuesday night because they got the, screwed. The the file got corrupted for the first time in a long time. We had an actual screw up, like oh, a no. big. Went to edit the footage, and it was just, it was just toast. Like wow. it was, it just that the sucks. audio was gone. I was just like. This was a bummer, and yeah. it was Stefan, and I was like, messaged him. It's like, dude, please, please, can we redo it? Can you come to the studio this time and yeah. do it? And thank God he did, and it was fine. And it was even in a better podcast, to be honest. So like, it was, it was, it worked out. But it was like the first time we'd missed a Tuesday in almost two years, which fuck. Yeah, we didn't, miss a week. That's the more part. we didn't miss a week, so we're almost two years straight of not missing a single upload. Oh my gosh, that's awesome! Man. Yeah, yeah, lots of work, but it's fun. I bet. So yeah. We're coming up on a handful of milestones, and I'm like, we should actually do something. But yeah, celebrate that shit, dude. We're thinking about a round table type thing, but we mm. don't have that ability anymore. We don't know. Don't we'll know figure it out. Kurt, Kurt's always got ideas. I told you my idea. Huh? I told you my idea. I know the round table thing. Yeah. Yeah. How to do it? Oh, old school. Yeah. Where we do it like, yeah, I could. Yeah, just put it all the switcher to the, to the board. Yeah, that's true. That'd be tight. Mm. How you been? I've been good. I've been Sorry, good. I'm, st I'll stop talking now. <laughs> no, you're good. Uh, I've been good. I've just been chilling, hanging out. Here, put this a little closer. Oh, there you go. Thank you. But yeah. Just chilling, hanging out. Just chilling and hanging out. I, uh, I've i been just job hunting, really. Oh, uh, ugh. Yeah. What, like, what kind of work? Um, I'm really looking for anything, oh, honestly. Yeah. I'm just, like, broke as shit, so I'm yeah. like, give me that job, dude. I have two jobs, and I'm broke as shit, so no, I can't yeah. imagine having no job. I have a job at the hall still, but I don't, it's, like, not full-time, so it's, yeah. it doesn't really... Are you looking for full-time work? Yes. Interesting. Yeah. Anything. Barista. Well, I don't drink coffee. Yeah, that's smart. I don't drink good. coffee. It smells good, but I just, my taste buds are like, naughty. Yeah. And you have to deal with coffee people. Uh -huh. The coffee worst. People Picky as hell. Well, Picky it's an hell. addiction. You're feeding them drugs. Yeah. I used to sell cigarettes. It was a fucking terrible job. Oh, my god. You're between a person and the thing they're addicted to. Yeah. Don't be that person. Mm -hmm. it's, it's the worst. Mm -hmm. They're usually cranky. Absolutely, they yeah. Because they don't have the thing they're there to get. And they're just like, give it to me now. Yeah. <laughs> Fuck! <laughs> <laughs> Explodes. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> You're like, ah, another one. Yep. Yeah, I mean, I don't know. Like, I I really want to be in the music industry. Like like I said, I work like at Like a full-time music industry person? Yeah. Mm. I, um, I don't know what, but, like, booking shows has always been something that I've been interested in. You could be a good, you'd be a good, like... You could be like a facilitator of shows, like a manager. Yeah, that'd be Especially tight. Especially if you were just like a manager where you don't have to go on the road, not a tour manager, but just a manager manager. Mm -hmm. Yeah. 
I'd love to do shit like that, dude. Start Hail Mary and some emails. Yeah. I mean, find every label on the fucking planet and just be like, you know, how much? Even yeah. if it's on a percentage, fuck it. Mm. I need something, though. I want, I want to do something that makes me happy, that brings me joy. You know Absolutely. what I mean? Absolutely. I, I think it's so important. I've been chasing that high for a long, long time. Dude. I get it. it it's tough. It's tough to find that shit. <laughs> I've been doing this for seven years. Hey. And it's, you know, it's yeah. it's as its peaks and valleys, just like everything else. Mm-hmm. The highs are high and the lows are fucking low, but hey. Still doing it. I, I would do it even <laughs> if we weren't, even if it was just me and Kurt every week. I don't care. I just like doing it. Absolutely. So you got to do that part first, mm-hmm. and then the rest will follow. Mm-hmm. And not everybody's timeline is the same. That's where we get tricked up as people, right? Mm-hmm. We compare ourselves too much. Too, way too much, dude. You know, especially That's one of my biggest internet. issues. And it's hard to get off the internet. Mm-hmm. If you're involved in something, it's like, well, I, I can't just not be there. I would fuck. My retirement plan is literally just like, I'll work for the rest of my life. I don't care about that. Yeah. But I will delete. I will just get a fucking flip phone. <laughs> the second I'm done with music, I'm Dead just going to be like, ass, dude. hang that shit up. Yeah. Put the phone in like a shadow box and just remember all the <laughs> terrible yeah, yeah. things. I remember spending fucking all night editing podcasts just so it could be up the next day because it just had to do it. It's a lot of work, man. And then you get addicted to that shit, too. All right, yeah, because you do the creates thing. Mm -hmm. How much time a week do you spend on that? Not so much lately. I haven't really been on as active as I should be. Oh, yeah? Yeah, I've just been dealing with so much shit. I went through, like, this traumatic experience, like, a few weeks ago. Oh, that'll do it. Yeah, Yeah. like, I got stuck in a flash flood, dude. Oh, I saw that. Yeah, it was terrible. Was that in Sherwood? No, it was, like, you know the exit uh, 141B? Mm-hmm. Off Broadway, yeah, that's where it happened. It was oh, just when it the comes exit down in the low part there. Yes, it was just the exit that was flooded. It wasn't even the of street. Course. Well, it's because it's low and it's tilted a little, mm-hmm. so all the water it's like a pool. Yeah. Did you not see it coming up and you just hit it? The girl in front of me hit it, Fuck. and it stalled her car. And then I was stuck behind her, and it was like the no. water just kept rising, and it was like knee deep. In your car? Yes. Fuck. Is yes. your car gone? No, I don't Is know that how. What you pulled up in here today? Yeah. <laughs> It still drives. Like, I drove my car home that night. What kind of car is it? Hyundai Alundra. Listen, Hyundai, if you're listening, <laughs> and we know that you are. Thank you, Hyundai. Uh, <laughs> good on you. <ya>. Yes. <laughs> Elantra, flood proof. Thank you for saving my life. <laughs> but, yeah, I mean, other than that, it's just, it's just been a, kind of like a, a lot of anxiety going on. So I haven't had a lot of time to actually focus on Arkansas Creates lately. Anxiety, yeah. Yeah. But it's a real I'm, tricky bastard. Absolutely. And that shit gets me every time. Do you get it because of the – did you have it before COVID? Well, yes. I know a lot of people got it after I've, been, I've dealt with anxiety my whole life. Oh, really? Man. Yeah. Okay. Are you young? You're probably young, aren't you? I'm 29. Not too young. Not too young. Huh? I just turned 29 last month. Or, yeah, last really? month. Really? Oh, happy birthday. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> but, yeah, uh, I, I do need to focus more on Arkansas Creates for sure because it's something that I it love. It does well. It does well. The Instagram is really on fire. I literally just reached, like, 3,000 followers, and I have That's no crazy. fucking idea how. Just good content. I guess, and you and you don't and you don't seem to have like a a bias seat at whatever it is. you you Mm-mm. put it you push it all exactly. I think that's what and that's so important to me. Absolutely, that's so important to me. This podcast has the same the same rule. Yeah, which is whoever exactly. If it, you're creative, if you do something and you're passionate if you about it, believe in it. Exactly. We were on here with uh, Stephen from uh, any given room. He talked about teapots for thirty minutes. <laughs> oh yeah, but he gives a fuck about teapots. Yeah, it's like it's like. Well, now, goddamn, now I want a teapot. Mm-hmm. I don't even fucking drink tea. Mm-hmm. I mean, I do, but it's like, you know, Milo's. No, yeah. <laughs> Out of a, mine's Sweet a jug. <laughs> I get a new teapot every week. Yeah. <laughs> but I mean, it's just, it, it is blown up from what I first started. Right. With the, like, my intentions with it. You know what I mean? Absolutely. Because when I first started Arkansas Creates, I was like, you know, I just like Spencer from Gold for Gold. Sure. I, I was just like, you know, I want to help out my buddies and their bands, post their shows, schedules, whatever. And then I just kind of snowballed from there. And I was like, you know what? Why not just fucking include everybody in this? Yep. All the creatives all across the state. Like, that would be sick. We don't have anything like that. Yeah. And then I started I- doing that shit. And it just blew up. People have tried, and now there's a handful of you. Yeah. And they're all doing well. Yeah. Which is fucking sweet. It is. It's like the new street team Mm -hmm. is how I kind of see it. Yeah. It's like, used to, we'd have to print handbills, and you had 10 really good friends who'd bust their ass with you, you Mm -hmm. know? Uh, This is like 
but there's like a camaraderie thing in it where the share is the new, hey, check this band out, yep. you know? Uh, it's like we're all kind of like working together, and I think that's so important. It is, like in a weird internet kind of way. Yeah. Yeah. My old brain doesn't really still get it too much, but I'm just like, that is what it is. It's just the new version. It's like, this is Campfire. Mm-hmm. That's what this podcast is. Mm-hmm. It's just two people shitting around, having some f- fucking liquid, liquid deaths. deaths. <laughs> <laughs> I think I'm done with beer, man. Yeah? I think I'm done. Man, I had too many last night. I, well, I've been on a mission to be done by the end of the year, but uh, two nights ago, Friday, yeah, so two nights ago, right? Yeah. Mm, yeah. Had like a punchy, you know, punchies. Mm. It's like Lost 40s, fucking whatever those things are called. It's not a seltzer, is it? It is. It is that's what. That's the word yeah, I was yeah. looking for. And I, it's like, I had two. And I wake up the next day. And I feel fucking absolutely fucked. Oh, no. And I'm just like... And then Kurt sent me the text, said Miller Lite or water. And when I read the word Miller Lite, I was like... <laughs> uh, so I was like, fuck, man, I think this is it. I think I just want to get water because mm. I might have to start doing like... If you want beer, you can have beer, but I, I might not. I'm just not going to drink. I yeah. said, fuck, man, now I'm a fucking loser. Oh, I'm no, an absolute dude. dork now. I don't smoke any drugs... I don't do any alcohol. I d- I've got vitamins and heart medication. <laughs> <laughs> fucking lame, dude. <laughs> I feel that so hard. I lived so fast when shirt. I was younger. The universe is like lame shit. Yep. Like fucking dusted me with Catching bullshit. Up quick. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> it fucking works, man. Fuck. Yeah. Yeah. My dad warned me. I didn't listen, but here I am. Lame as fuck. Yeah. It really does. And like, it's like you don't expect it at all. It just kind of happens. 35, 35. Mm-hmm. That's a sweet spot. Even all my friends, too. It's just like, oh, that's that's when you're like, I was putting my pants on this morning, and now I can't shit right. Mm-hmm. You're like, what the fuck? Yep. Like, I, I have to sit leaning on the toilet because my spine is injured because I tried to put my <laughs> pants on too fast. Dead ass, yeah. And then now I'm 40, and I'm like, I, I mean, like, my spine hurts right now, this very moment. Oh, if dude. I think about it too much, I'm just like... So if you see me fidgeting, it's because my lower back is on fire. Oh, my God, dude. Kurt was in here earlier. I Remember the wince? I was like, huh. and he goes, what the hell? <laughs> <laughs> Not the wince. Yeah. Oh, my gosh. Dude. Damn, dude. That sucks. Enjoy your six years you have left. <sighs> my six years. It's, it's <laughs> going to go by so fast, dude. Time flies. It fucking flies. It's it's silly. Especially since COVID happened. Like, that shit is just like. Yes. Yes. Time doesn't exist anymore. Mm-mm. It's almost like they used it as a thing where they can just be like, well, now time's just going to not exist. Mm-hmm. And all of you, <laughs> like, when you say it was, however, it was years ago now. Yeah. What? Like, I remember it being yesterday. You know what I mean? Like, oh yeah, COVID-19. And it's, and it's a whole thing. And now it's not a thing. And it's still like, how was it? How was it already? Years have mm-hmm. passed. We're talking about. Now we got all this stuff going on. Kurt was listening off all this shit that's happening. I'm like, dude, it, it never it never stops. No. Never, never stops. This weekend, worked two shows at Vino's. Both were good. Went well. Oh, yeah. Then Friday night, home by midnight. And I eat when I get home because I try not to eat the pizza. Because mm-hmm. I got to eat better. <laughs> That's another thing. I can't even eat cool food anymore. Not the Vino's pizza. N- not really. That's I can scrape off the top and eat like a slice without like the bread and shit. And I just like, but that's all I really got. Damn. And even that gets old. So it's yeah. just like, eat when you get home, in bed, up at five o'clock, you get four hours of sleep, mm. tile, like jackhammer up a bathroom Saturday morning. Dude. You know, get all that and then lay all the tile. And I'm just like, I'm 40. I shouldn't be pushing it <laughs> yeah. this hard. I oh don't my know. gosh. I'm just rambling. I'm sorry. No, you're good, man. I love listening to you talk. Are you kidding me? You guys are awesome. It's been, it's been a wild two weeks. Very fast. Felt that. Felt that. I've been drinking a lot of orange juice. That's new. Oh, I love orange juice, though. Yeah, I do too, but I think I might be overdoing it. <laughs> yeah, like a little too much. Uh, Pulp, dude. Pulp. Yeah, pulp. Love pulp. For sure. No? No? Really? Kurt, no. come on. As a as a uh, textile eater, mm. uh, I shouldn't love pulp at all because most things in something fucking make me 
uncontrollably gag. I feel that. But uh, I can't eat meat for that reason. Whoa, really? Like red meat, yeah. The like texture, steak, of it, the, the texture. Yeah, it's really? like it's dead ass like me walking up to a dead carcass and just, and just biting. I, on I it. mean, that's, I mean, that kind of is what it is. Yeah, it's just that's what it. That's what it feels like to me. And in my head, I'm just like I'm it just eating you out. bloody ass meat right now. <laughs> Whoa. Yeah, so I can't eat red meat. I'll eat chicken. I'll eat seafood, shit like that. I'm hundred percent a carnivore. I, c- I think I could walk up to a cow and just be like, nah, 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 nah. I couldn't. I would throw up immediately. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. See, I get that way with mushy foods make me just fucking. Uh. How do you feel about bananas? No, can't do it. Can't do it? Really? Watermelons. Can't really? do it. Really? And I love the smell. Oh, I love watermelon. I love the smell. I could throw a piece of watermelon or a banana in my car and just sniff on it, but I can't. <laughs> you know, like will to a beer, you know? <laughs> will yeah. smells beer. Yeah. Anyway, I'm going to have to start sniffing beers. Oh, my gosh. Uh, no. I, man, watermelon. It's a texture it's issue, too, because there are foods I know I would love. Yeah. Like a lot of fruits. Come on. Oh, fruits are awesome. See? Mm-hmm. But they're mushy, and my brain just does not compute. I don't know where that comes from, why, yeah. but... I get it though. If two things touch, sometimes I'll eat oh, them dude. together. I hate that. But shit. if they touch together, I'm yes. like, well, now I can't eat it. Yeah. Even though I would eat them at the same time. So you know how like it, if like... ketchup touches my burger bun, I'll be furious. Yes. But if I eat ketchup on a fry with a bite of burger in my mouth, you're good. Delicious. Yeah. It's the weirdest shit. What the fuck is that about? I know. Like, like, how you stupid know? am I? What the fuck does that dude. mean? Dude. Are you sure you're not allowed? Yeah, man, I am 100%. <laughs> I have the appetite of a six-year-old child. Yeah, we got baby pellets over yeah. here. <laughs> if it ain't chicken nuggies and mac and cheese, exactly. I don't want to talk about it. <laughs> <laughs> Where my apple juice at, too? <laughs> apple juice gives me major toilet issues. Ah, really? Can't have it anymore. I can't oh have gosh. milk anymore. Can't have apple juice anymore. Orange juice I love right now, but mm. I bet I'll develop something for that. God. All the good shit, dude. It's gotta. It comes to an end eventually. <laughs> Fuck. I'm whiny today. I feel God. you. I, f- I woke up on the wrong side of the bed. I've just been. Uh, I grouted a fucking bathroom this morning, so I've I've been up since five thirty. I'm just like shit. Maybe that's what it is. Yeah. I've just been working today. I'd be pissed so at the world. I mean, it's fine. Like, it was cool. I helped a friend, and I got something cool in return, and he got something cool in return. It was like a barter deal. Oh, yeah. It's like a very cool way to do. I love that. Mm. I love bartering. So, like, the idea of it, I was so stoked, but it was just like, there was a jackhammer involved, and it was a lot of pre-work. Mm. So, it just, like, wore me down. Yeah. Me and my fat old body. I was like, I went <sighs> home. I sat Storm on my mark. couch. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I'm new to like ultra fat. I've been fat my whole life, but I'm new to like probably too fat. And I'm just like, oh man, why am I tired? And then I'm like, oh yeah, I love pizza. Yep. <laughs> yeah. Story in my fucking life, yeah. dude. So now I think tomorrow I got to get back to like strict, like chicken and rice, you know, like mm-hmm. super, super Bland duper. Ash yes. Yep. Just matter of factly, this is lunch, this is dinner, it's in a tub. I don't even bother heating the shit up. Just whatever, eat mm-hmm. it cold, and just be content. Yeah. No more snacking. Put the popcorn down, fatty. <laughs> Not giving up the snacking. Snacks are the best. I know. Popcorn's my favorite, too. Oh, I love popcorn. And the more butter. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. <laughs> Can't do movie theater butter anymore, either. That's no, another one. that's the best. When I go to the movies, I, can, I have to eat it plain. Oh. Which is gross. I would just give up. No. I'm just yeah. <laughs> You're like, you should just stop doing stuff. <laughs> just go inside. Just leave. <laughs> just leave. <laughs> you know what? Don't even give the movie people your money anymore. Mm-hmm. Walk in, walk out. Can't have my movie movie butter? Hell no. Can't have movie butter. Just the movie theater butter. It's weird. That is weird. Well, it's not butter. I found out. It's butter flavored canola oil. So it's not butter that is the problem. It's mm. canola oil that's yeah. the problem. That makes sense. Yeah, which is disgusting. That that's not butter. Yeah. Yeah. That just kind of changed my yeah. changed my life for for a second. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. It's bad. I, I guess I could bring my own butter. Would that be weird to bring a cup of melted butter, Kurt, oh, and just be like, hold on? Hell yeah. I brought my own. <laughs> just <One> slather. <laughs> <laughs> also switch to unsalted butter. Oh my. Hooray God. for getting older, dude. That's Low crazy. Low sodium diet. Yeah. <laughs> It's so fucking stupid. Oh, my God. That just sounds like hell. And actually, you know what? The unsalted butter is pretty damn good. Yeah? Uh, for what it is, I like it. 
it's not the worst part of the thing. That's this like the worst part is the seasonings. Every seasoning has salt in it, damn near. Mm-hmm. The good shit. Yep. It's like it's like the universe went. You just you can't have anything that you like anymore. Mm-hmm. We're gonna just take all that away from you. That's like we're gonna stick you with the shitty shit. Yeah. Well, it's just <laughs> bland. Yep. It's just cooked bland food. Chicken should been around for a few million years now they should come pre-seasoned at yeah this point. absolutely because everything eats chicken mm-hmm. everything even chickens eat chicken mm-hmm. god hates chickens that's the moral of this you heard podcast. it here first guys yeah. <laughs> everything everything eats them nothing loves a chicken <laughs> my buddy was telling me a story yesterday he watched a chicken get free from a chicken semi oh my gosh. right it flew for about a second hit the ground immediately a car ran over it oh no <laughs> That poor fucking chicken, dude. <laughs> That's what I'm saying. Like it, it was just like marked for death. Mm-hmm. Uh, like what's that movie where everyone dies real fucked up uh, with Is the it, logs? Oh, Final Destination. It got Final Destination. Damn. Like it escaped one death to you, immediately be met with a new death. Could you imagine the trauma that chicken felt? <laughs> for like point four no, seconds. No, literally. <laughs> like it just looked up and went. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> Damn. Rest in peace, chicken. <clears throat> so if you're... Go back to Arkansas Create. Sorry. Okay. I'm all over the place. I don't know. Let's do it. Oh. <clears throat> so you said it kind of took itself on like that, where you were like, I'm going to do all these bands from all over the place. So do you have that thought, or have you had the thought to grow it even more? I have. Because, I have. Yeah. Um, I've thought about, like Kurt mentioned earlier, I thought about doing a podcast, just kind of like mm. starting up a co- podcast, having different creatives come on, just speak with them, what they're passionate about, what they, kind of like their goals. Do you have a format style you're thinking about? Is it just like short forms? Like I don't. You don't have any ideas for I that? I don't know. I haven't actually like sat down and like planned anything yet, right. but I have ideas for sure, for mm. sure. I'm excited though. It, it, like yeah. I said, it, it took off like crazy. We need more of that. Yeah. Yeah. And if you have the reach on Instagram, that would help you tremendously. Mm. Especially if you're, I don't know if you're capable of going places, but that's one thing that holds us back, I think, kind of, is being able to get a production yeah. to somewhere. So, like, simplifying all of this actually is very expensive, mm. you know, because all the, all the portable gear ain't cheap. No. So, you either got to, you know, rough it with your phone and and just hope for the best. God, now I'm hicc- hiccuping. Or you gotta spend a bunch of money and have and take a whole fucking team of stuff with you, and you, and then like have a backdrop and do you know? Yep. Which that's kind of we're like, well, we should get a backdrop for being portable and well, it's like, well, now we need a <laughs> van because we have a whole fucking studio, no, dead ass. which like, is a dope goal, but fuck, it takes time and it takes money. But I think if you want to grow. Being in Arkansas is kind of like a hindrance. Yeah. Because you don't have access to a lot of things. Because mm-hmm. people don't come through here that much. So if you want to gain, you know, more notoriety, you have to kind of be like, well, we'll come, like, we'll, I guess we'll just go there. Hot Ones famously does that. They oh, don't film, yeah, yeah, yeah. they don't film in one spot and people come to them. Like, mm-hmm. they spend, they just tour all over where they can. That'd be sick. <clears throat> Wouldn't it? That'd if be that so was your sick. job? Yeah. Like, I'm on tour. You, wait. Your podcast? Yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah, podcast tour. Eating wings and shit. Just, <laughs> well, I'm saying if you did it, like, oh, it's like, I, oh, yeah, I'll be in New dude, York yeah. talking to fucking name somebody from New York or whoever, you know, like yeah. a comedian or something. That's sick Man, as fuck. That'd be so sick. You'd have to change the name, though. Arkansas Creates doesn't really work for a... <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I'd have to think on that one. United States Creates. <laughs> Yo, it's not bad. <laughs> uh, but, yeah, dude, like... I'm, the podcast is an idea that I've had. Um, I started doing like artist spotlights on Arkansas Create, which has been huge. I, oh, I've, that's right. Yes. Yeah. Those I've, are great. They are. And they're such a good resource for these artists and these creatives. And people like they'll come up to me like I did an artist spotlight on this uh, person named Bree Peterson lately. Uh-huh. And um, she actually came up. I met her actually a few days ago at Four Quarter. And I was able to, like, introduce myself and everything and just the feedback that I got from her and just being like, hey, like, thank you so much. Like, that means a lot to me. Fuck yeah. You know what I mean? I like, do. Just, just hearing that 
um, what's the word I'm looking for? Just hearing that affirmation. Yeah, yeah. the affirmation, that feedback. Yep. It may it really solidifies what I'm trying to do. Absolutely. You know, doesn't feel real sometimes too. It doesn't. Good job is a strange thing to hear. Yes. You work your ass off. You did do a good job, and you deserve all the compliments you get. But you still like. Uh. Yeah, it's hard. <laughs> it's the weirdest thing in the world. Yeah, <laughs> it's so hard to take a compliment. Because I can sit here and tell you, you should just be proud that you get the compliment. And it's like, and then somebody will go, "Hey, great job!" I'm like, Ugh. "Don't say that to me." <laughs> somebody did that to me at the vinyl convention. Oh, really? Yeah, they were like, "Yo, some the, you're the podcast guy," and I was like, first off, that's insane." You're like, "Oh, you're like a local celebrity." I was like, "Ew, mm. don't say that." <laughs> <laughs> A local celebrity. It's yeah. awesome. <laughs> it's weird. What uh, what vinyl? Uh, convention? Vinyl convention was at the Benton. Uh, yeah. Okay, I remember. Oh, convention center. Duh. Yeah, I was yeah, like, yeah. what was the name of the place? The Benton Convention Center. Mm -hmm. Retro Rose was there, and Full Moon, and all of them really. Some out of state people. They had some dope shit. I wanted to go to that <clears> so bad. I, it looked cool. One booth had a bunch of these Japanese rare print, like from all like the seventies, eighties. Buddy of mine I was with got the one of the uh, uh, Queen, like Japanese rare, and you open it's like a double record. There's like two inserts. It's just all kinds of those. I can't, I can't remember what their alphabet's called, but like their writing is all over it. Yeah, sick as fuck. That is sick. Super colorful, of course. Yeah, like way different variant than what we're used to here, and it even have like a. Like it was in a sleeve that you pulled out, and then and, and then the side of it was sleeved like a tape that you would pull off, almost like a book. Mm. Super sick. That is cool. Yeah. What the fuck? It was like a hundred bucks, which is. But I was like, yeah, it was from like the fucking seventies. Yeah, this worth is, it. Honestly. And it was in mint condition. It was awesome. Oh my gosh, I would have yeah. loved to have gone to that. Yeah, you should. Hinder was there. Really? <laughs> yeah. What? Yeah. yeah, they were doing a signing. They had like an edge booth. Yeah. And it was like off in the corner. It. I don't think it went well, but they were there. Yeah. Shout oh out my to gosh. Them. I mean, it was just Shout strange. I didn't know they were going to be there. So when like the guy came on the radio, he's like, "Come see Hinder." I was like, "What? The what? Fuck? That's what? so strange, though, at a vinyl convention." Hinder? Yeah, yeah. I think it just worked out. I think they were playing in town, and so okay, yeah, I, think, I do. They, I remember them playing at the yeah. hall, like on the eleventh or something. That's like what that. it was. Yeah, that's crazy though. But see, it's stuff like that. It's like, do we reach out to Hinder? Maybe. You never know who's going to say yes. Mm. All the big gets we've had, you know, or bigger gets than yeah. what would be like a local musician. Mm. Uh, it's all because of Kurt. Because he's just like on fucking Twitter like, hey. And they're just like, yeah, sure. And oh, I'm yeah. just like, what the fuck? That's awesome, Kurt. The power yeah. of the ask is insane. Yeah. It really is insane. And so many people are scared to ask, too. Oh, God. One of the best ones I never took advantage of we had, but it was a, just like COVID hit, and I was just like, I'm just not going to press any of it. Mm. But it was Matt Besser from the Upright Citizens Brigade invented oh. with Amy Poehler. Like, yeah. he's from Arkansas. Holy shit. Yeah. So that would have been so sick. Right? Yeah. But then all that went down, and I was just mm. like, I, I, I don't want to fuck with it. I mean, but see, but... The fact that that guy was like, sure, yeah, I'll fuck around for 30 minutes. Yeah. Oh, my God, dude. It's So if you just type a fucking email out and just yeah. be like, you know, just shoot your shot is what they say now. Yeah. Just do it. Shoot your shot, guys. Shoot your shot. You just don't fucking know who's cool or, or who, not cool, just doesn't care. And they're like, sure, yeah, fuck it, I'll do it. Yeah. I mean, That's really interesting to think about. Isn't it? Yeah. It opens a lot of doors when you start just trying. We had one. Oh my god! If it would have worked, I would have had. A, I'd have been in here fucking shaking. But it didn't work out. Oh man! Fingers crossed. Hey, you never know what could happen you, though. But they'll come back. I yeah. Mean, to be fair, he said yes. It was a scheduling thing. It was. Uh, he did say yes. So that that's why I was just like, holy fuck! But then like day of something, it was a whole thing. Yeah. But uh, so anyway, it is possible. You mm. can get more people, but here it's like you have to wait around. Whereas if we were in like Dallas, mm -hmm. it's just every night. There's yeah. fucking people coming through all the time, so you have a little bit more access. Even you still have to ask, but they probably are fucking one more comfortable because they're in a major city. Mm -hmm. You know, they've been there a thousand times. Little Rock, they're like, what the fuck even is where this place? I? Yeah, where? Yeah, <laughs> which. Where are you? 
you. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Which would serve us better if we were in like the the fucking uh, what's the tower now? I call it the TCBY tower, but it hasn't been that in 20 years. Uh, the so Simmons Bank yeah, building. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. If we were there, they'd probably be like, "Yo, for real?" and it's like, "Yeah," which actually you can get rooms there super cheap. Oh, really? Yeah. It's like 250 a month for like a office for a small one, yeah, but it's big enough to do this in. Oh yeah, that's cool. I didn't and know a that. window view, your Shit. your background could be the damn full on downtown Little Rock. What a beautiful view! It looks yeah. fucking amazing down there. It does, and they're doing so much work on it too. Yeah, I feel like Little Rock's just getting better and better. It is. It takes time. It does. Things happen slowly in the real world. Yeah. The internet wants everything right fucking now. Mm -hmm. And we're out here like, it, I can't build a building tomorrow. Yes, you know? like it takes work, man. It does. It takes Come a lot on. of work. But it is looking a lot better. Yeah. Downtown is like fun now. I go down there and walk around in the daytime and I'm just like, fuck yeah, this is a whole vibe down yeah. here. Yeah. Uh, Argenta, for example, is one of my favorite yeah, spots. Yeah, that's wild. That's blowing I love up like Argenta. crazy. Mm -hmm. Both sides of the river are doing really well mm -hmm. there's events all the time now you have multiple people working on different kinds of events too so it's not just one fucking thing all the time yeah so we're it's it's you know the population's growing it so, is and like you mentioned like there's so many events going on now it's crazy it is crazy it's hard to keep up with all of them i mean just local shows now i just i can't keep up with it all yeah and with all the markets that are mm -hmm. happening too uh like collab markets and shows and stuff like that. Like it's just yeah. getting more and more out there. And I'm like, hell yeah. Yeah. We I have love multiple, seeing that shit. Multiple record stores now. Mm -hmm. We have multiple, I mean, it's everything. Venues. I think we could stand to use a couple more venues, but it's still too, too niche, I guess, but it's, we're getting there. Yeah. Yeah. You put sure. up another mid size room. I think you'd do really well here. Like a rev room sized mm -hmm. room with like a modern, Absolutely. shit in it yeah i think it would fucking thrive i think so too yeah or even just update that one uh you have you know people want to be like we're a little bougie these days i want it to be fucking pretty awesome when i walk in somewhere mm -hmm. not gonna lie it makes it better mm -hmm. you know of course it just it's just better yeah you know like uh, i don't mind old shit but <laughs> it's got that new feel and I you're like, like hey, well yeah. new feel and modern modern yeah. pa systems are fucking incredible mm -hmm. Like, yeah, I hear everything. <laughs> it's crazy, man. Mm -hmm. But you want to do a podcast. Hmm. I do. One day, I'm thinking, I'm, I'm like, I'm trying to get my plans together. Actually, make a plan. <laughs> the hard part is how much work do you want to put into it? Because you're going to find out a lot of things. You're just like, oh, that's so much more than I thought. You could do it just like a phone in a room and then boost the audio and put it out. Like, it works. Yeah. My, if you go back, I think it's episode like 98 or 97 of this podcast. It's with Jackson. Mm -hmm. And all the things failed. And I had that in my kitchen. It's it's dear, It's like right at the tail end of COVID stuff. So we're in my kitchen. Yeah. And uh, it's just me and him at a table. And that thing, what well, was a 12 or whatever, whatever mm -hmm. the fuck, 11, whatever it was. And uh, all I did was boost the audio, and it's like, damn, I mean, it's, it's there's a little room noise. Yeah. It's pretty fucking good for, and now you could probably just take that right out with all the AI shit. Oh, yeah, dude. You could just be like, nah, it sounds perfect, which mm -hmm. is probably where we'll end up getting to, because there's services now, but you have to pay for them, but I can only imagine in a year that shit will be free. Oh, yeah, uh, for sure. <clears throat> but really, it's just like, yeah, how to advance do you want to get? Like, we have multicam. Kurt's over there switching cameras, mm. you know, doing yeah, his thing. See? <laughs> the audio is coming into a device and going into another device and every, it's melding both of them at the same time. And it's not listening to the cameras. Yeah. And it's a whole fucking thing. And it's so cool though. Y'all do such a good job. It's kind of neat in here, right? Yeah. It's a cool vibe. <laughs> yeah. I like it. Yeah. And everything tends to disappear until I'm like, Hey Kurt. And then, you know, you kind of look over, you're like, Oh shit. Yeah. There's, there's here? You're a whole other person <laughs> in here. Yeah. <laughs> which I wish he was turned around, but we're working on that too. If we had five more feet in this room, it'd be so sick. Oh my God. Y'all could do so much. Yeah. We, uh, but I mean, something simple, even I'm just spitballing. You could put like in a corner of a room, two chairs, you talk at each other, just two microphones. You can hold them or put them on a boom stand. Mm -hmm. Simple 30 minute catch up style. Yeah. You know, 
what is this? What is that? All these questions. It's just better to hear that information from direct, you know? Like, reading it is one thing. Look how good reading it does. Mm -hmm. Was it you and Dead Party and Ringo Report, the three that come to the top of my head? It's just like these, here's a picture, here's the rundown, da-da-da-da-da, yeah. and they do great. Yeah. All three of y'all do good. So it's like a little video format pod style mm -hmm. where it's like on audio, on like your podcast apps, fucking, you know, 30 minutes to an hour, and like boom, 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 and just like here's an antidote, here's a tour story, blah, blah, blah. Okay, yeah. cool, cool, cool. That's perfect. Man. Yeah. It is. And easy to do, easy enough to do, because you only need one camera if you yeah. do it corner style. You don't need both because you just you can see both people. Like if we did one, it'd have to be like back there where Kurt is. Mm. We'd have to shove Kurt in the corner. Sorry, <laughs> Kurt. <laughs> <We're> just, <laughs> <laughs> You're on punishment. <laughs> you imagine he's just in here like kicking the floor. Just on like, phone. <laughs> I got in trouble again. I Not again. I don't want to talk about it. <laughs> What yeah. did we learn? <laughs> no, uh, Ringo Reports and Dead Party, I think they are also, like, two really special platforms. Mm -hmm. And so with all of us working together like that, I think it's, like I said, I think it's so important, and this is what the scene needs. Absolutely. You know? I agree. And it, it just... Look at the traction y'all get every week. Yeah. It's crazy. Like, you're doing something. Mm -hmm. You're moving the needle. All three of y'all combined is like a fucking Captain Planet of, of promoting. It's awesome, <laughs> yeah. honestly. Like, shout out to them. Shout out to them. You should do a Captain Planet-inspired photo shoot with the... Oh, my God. <laughs> with Rico Yes. And Dead Party. <laughs> Brandon, Marcus, if you hear this, yeah. let's do it. <laughs> yeah, that would be sick. I know a guy who could shoot it. Hell yeah. Yeah, or we just steal his camera and do it ourselves. Let's do it. It's a plan. <laughs> I have my own camera. We can do it without it. No, I'm just kidding. Who needs him? <laughs> well, he's much better than... Corey specifically. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. Thanks, Kurt. <laughs> no, I think that would be... Yeah, yeah, it is. It is. It is. Like, it's cool as fuck that that's a thing. And it, on multiple platforms with mm -hmm. multiple people. Yeah. And all three work. And I know there's more. I just don't know their, by the name. So, like... Sorry if I'm forgetting anybody, but uh, it's cool. It's cool that there's this, and then you could have a pod, too, and then there's the Instagram outlets, and then all the bands that are also promoting. Yeah. I think, I think it has to definitely get some credit for everything picking up. Like, everything's ramping up. Everything is. Yeah. And it, it just keeps getting more yeah. and more and more and more ramped. Yeah. I think soon it will almost be like a fever dream. Yeah. It might take a couple more years, like if you think about it realistically, like mm -hmm. just population density and all those fucking things you have to think about. Yeah. And like who you're promoting to and avenues how to reach different sects of people and all those things you have to think about as a promoter. Mm -hmm. But yeah, I think in a few years, if, especially if you just keep grinding and more and more people come to tiny little holes in the wall, because it's most people... It's their first time somewhere like that. Yeah. Like, you know how many people come to Vinos now and they're like, oh, I've never been here. It's so, it's so fucking frequent. When used to, it was like only people that knew about it. I know. It's crazy. Yeah. And now and it's. that younger generation's still like slowly coming out. Yep. Yeah. It's, it's yeah. wild. Well, the old generation's coming back out too because all their kids are grown. Yeah. I've been seeing a lot of my friends back at shows because they don't have to worry about raising children anymore. Oh, hell yeah. Which is why, it, that fucking blows my mind too because yeah. I'm still just like the same guy and they're like weaving back in with their gray hair and solid tax returns. And their grandkids. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, actually, oh, literally, I have friends that are grandparents. That is wild. Weird. Time, dude. It's, it's, it's not real. Oh my God. It's fake as shit. Yeah. Time is fake as fuck. I hate it. I do too, because I don't like to think that I'm 40, but then I just like look in my medicine cabinet and I'm like, ah, oh, fuck. I feel you. I turned 29 and I was just like, what do I do? Yeah, you that's kind of it. You're like 30. Yeah. Oh no. One year from 30 and I'm just like, oh my God, I'm going to literally be sick. Could you say my first half of my 30s were pretty stellar? Uh, I heard 30s are a good, like a good. It was that last three. The last three years of my 30s were fucked. Were they? They were fucked. Damn. So much bullshit. Like yeah. 37 to fucking, honestly, probably like the middle of 39. I was like, you can fuck off. I was like, I can't wait to get out of my 30s. Yeah. 
and scared to be in my 40s. I just don't want to say 40. And then it's like, ugh, 40. I don't have any gray hair yet. I can't be 40. I have fucking gray hair already. No, Kurt's got it. He's he's peppered up. Dude, my it's man's crazy. A, a salt shaker. Yeah. Really? Oh my god. Yeah, mine started popping up, and I was just like, I don't even do anything. Like, what the fuck? <laughs> Why do I have gray hairs right now? <laughs> probably the anxiety. Probably the body. Probably just fucking is like. You're fucked. <laughs> yeah. Well, every little, every time it probably flares up, you know, it's almost like, because I I've had it a couple times. I don't know, you know, I don't know what it is exactly. I don't have it but I've had it, mm -hmm. right? Yeah. Something like that. It's like, I don't have depression, but I've been depressed. Mm -hmm. Sad mostly, but for sure. You felt it. For sure. Like yeah. like uh, like when my dad died, 100%. Yeah. It was a new feeling. I was like, yeah, this might be it. Mm -hmm. <laughs> but I didn't, go, you know, I'm like, ah, oh, fuck it. It's like a wound. I'll be like, yeah, it'll, it'll heal. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, but it's it's tough. It is. You feel like you're having a fucking panic attack sometime. You're oh, like, dude. fuck. That's sitting around like, do I shoot my guns? Do mm. I light my house on fire? What yeah. do I do? <laughs> and it just, it, it, it almost like it resets you. You know what I mean? Like, mm -hmm. you're just, you feel almost so empty that you don't know what to do. Yeah. It's like, it's after weird. a panic attack, like, it's yeah. just, I hate it. I hate it. A nice good nap for me yeah. helps. Uh, sleep really helps. So I'm just, I wake up and I'm like, cool. I'm a very it's a new day kind of person. So mm -hmm. it's like, fresh start. Fuck whatever happened yesterday. Mm -hmm. It's not real. It doesn't exist anymore. Fuck it. Uh, forward. You know, very much so. Always have been, though. Yeah. You know, fucking, yep, today sucked. Go to sleep. Even if it's like 6 o'clock in the afternoon. Sometimes I come home. My poor, my poor wife, she gets the brunt of it. And I'm just like, she's like, you're in a bad fucking mood. And I'm like... I need to go to bed. Mm. <laughs> you know, like, realistically, I just need to go to sleep. Yeah. And sometimes I do. It'd be like 6 o'clock, and I'm like, I'm just going to go in there. Just, like, don't even come in there. I don't want dinner. I'm just going to go to bed. Yeah. Sometimes that's what you need. <clears throat> it is. Yeah, this shit's a bitch. The brain is silly. I know, dude. It's, it's, not, even me that, it's not even that big a deal, most stuff. Most stuff is not that big a deal. But you get on the fucking this these fucking things mm -hmm. and you get riddled up and you're like fuck. <laughs> and in your mind you're just like, what is everyone gonna think? What is everyone? Gonna uh, think? Yeah, and nothing. Guess nothing. what? They don't Abs give a shit. They don't give a fuck. Yeah. They probably don't even know. Mm. It's crazy. <laughs> like, legit. Fuck you, brain. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's like when you do a Facetime and you go, uh, oh, you know, you're like, let me, let me make my yeah, yeah, yeah. What it's the crazy. fuck is that about? I don't know, dude. Somebody FaceTimed me earlier and I had my head down. I was like, oh, shit. <laughs> I'm like over here trying to take a selfie and my double chin's in there. And I'm like, I saw a comedian say <laughs> the worst prank Apple ever pulled on somebody was when you FaceTime, it shows you you before they pick up. Yes. <laughs> I was like, yeah, Bullshit. that's so true. <laughs> but maybe it's good, though, because like, imagine if no one knew, if there wasn't that front where you can see <sighs> yourself, you'd just yeah. be looking down the whole time. <laughs> Looking like a gargoyle. <laughs> That's exactly how it is. You look like a fucking gargoyle. Dude. Everyone being like, are you okay? Be like, yeah, I'm fine. What's it's wrong? It's just my Whoa. face. <laughs> uh, it's, it's crazy. The mind, I, dude. I didn't make me hideous. God, I made me hideous. <laughs> I got a fucking... This is on God. This, uh, yeah. Blame that motherfucker. <laughs> And Steve Jobs, get out of here and throw the phone. <laughs> God and Steve Jobs, if you're listening, <laughs> damn you. God damn you. <laughs> like, it's fine. I like FaceTime. It's a bold move. Oh. The, the FaceTime is a bold statement. Kurt FaceTimes. I don't I think do I've sometimes. ever. I think I've done it like maybe a handful of times. Mm -hmm. and I think they're probably all either Kurt or my wife. Like, Yeah. I was just. I. I get high sometimes, and so I would just uh, be like, funny. I want to harass my brother. And he lives in California, so I don't see him that often. Okay, well, that's great. See, that's where it's awesome. Yeah, so I would just FaceTime him, and he fucking hates it, dude. He fucking hates it. He's like, you always do this shit, and it pisses me off. And I'm like, you got to see my face, dude. Uh, yeah. And I haven't to be seen fair, you in like a year. The FaceTime audio quality is pretty fucking stellar. Oh, my God, yeah. It's loud as shit. Yeah. You don't even have to... You know, you can have the phone way over here, like sitting on something, be doing the dishes and still here. Mm. Speak for yourself. Well, Kurt, your phone is broken, bud. <laughs> if I had the money, I'd say, let's go get you a new one. His phone f is fucked. Yeah. Should be getting a new one in September. Thank God. It's like you can't, he I don't know how the fuck he makes phone calls at this point without headphones. 
Is it like busted or? No, it just, it just the doesn't speakers work? don't work. Like they work. If he did a, if he did a, uh, uh, what's the shit where you put it through the speakers? Speakerphone? Yeah, yeah, <laughs> I'm yeah. fucking idiot, I dude. Speakerphone, I can still put it up my ear. Yes. Yeah. Oh, fuck. And, it, and you can't hear it. Like if you're over here, you'd be like, is he on the fucking phone? Like you, it's wild yeah, how quiet wild. it is. Oh my God. Yeah, yeah, you need a new phone cart. He does. Something, <laughs> something weird has gone on. I don't like calling people anyway. I feel that. That's true. Me, because I don't stop talking ever and it's just you'd have if i have three hour conversations imagine this on text messages mm. like i'd be talking to you for nine fucking hours well cool you don't text that much and when you do you don't use punctuation that's true <laughs> run on sentences baby oh hell, hell yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> listen i did enough of that in high school Corey will answer three different questions and it's one paragraph in one paragraph one well yeah you asked the questions Kurt's, it works. Kurt, Kay, uh, everybody now seems to be like, send it, send it. Like it's, a, it's like a sentence is a text. Yeah. You know. Doo, 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 doo. So like my phone's blowing up. I, I'm like I've got shit in my hands. I'm working and my, mm. my, my I'm, I'm like, I, this is how I answer a lot of texts now. I go, dude, with my nose on my wrist because I have to watch. Yeah. My phone's somewhere else. Yeah. Blah 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 blah. blah. Like while I'm working and then I'll just do and I'll just hit it with my nose and like however it is. Is however it is. And yeah. I get so many back like, are you using voice to text right now? <laughs> <laughs> yes. Yes, I am. Because it's one of the greatest <laughs> inventions ever. You get the point. <laughs> yeah. That's hilarious. I am i don't know. I'm, I'm kind of weird about that shit. Like, like you said, like one text per or one sentence per text or whatever. Yes. I don't do that necessarily, but I'll like, I'll separate. Mine is a stream of consciousness. Yeah. In one I mean, it. He's right. It's insane. Yeah. It looks like a crazy person's manifesto. <laughs> it's just like it'll be this long, no periods, no nothing. And you kind of have to go wait what, and then they'll have to go back to his original text and be like, okay, that answers that. Mm. <laughs> That's so funny. You wouldn't be. You'd be. You probably wouldn't be. But every time we have a shared notes folder for like the descriptions of episodes, mm. and I'll do it, and then my phone, like a couple hours later, will be like updated. Just like updated description, Kurt. <laughs> I'm like, whatever, dude. And all this is me going in there and adding punctuation. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's so funny. Yeah. Oh my god. I, I should that. really switch to uh, the voice memo. Oh yeah. You like, can you can just hold it down, say what you want, let go, and, and it'll just, send you your voice. voice. Yeah. yeah, those are cool. I like those. I don't mind them. Yeah. My buddy, that's the only way he does it now. Mm -hmm. He's just like, I'm not texting ever again. He's like, I'm bad at spelling, and that, and, and this is, it's like a phone call, but it's not a phone call. Exactly. It's like a phone call on your own time. Yeah. Which is kind of sweet. Yeah. Unless Until you're you get public. like a 50 minute one, then you're like, oh my god. Oh, two minutes or under. Dude, I've well, gotten like a five minute one, and I thought I was gonna fucking explode. I get like, long ones from a certain <laughs> person that, but it's like always business related. Yeah. So it's like okay, and I'll be listening. Okay, that and. So I like that, but if it's just like, hey, what are you doing? Like if you're high, like you said, if you're high out of your yes. mind, you're like, that's my dog, Chili. <laughs> <laughs> my dog's on the floor. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh, it's just, it's crazy. We're all different. We're all different. It's awesome. It makes life fun. Mm -hmm. mm. Mm. Oh, liquid death. So delicious. So delicious. I have a theory it makes you more thirsty. Oh? I do. What is it? I just think there's something in here that makes you more thirsty. Oh, yeah? I could see that, yeah. Because like, you well, can't have just one. You can't. You can't. It's fucking impossible. Yeah. It doesn't satiate you at all. Mm -hmm. It makes you... Like Fiji water, I have a Fiji, I feel fucking refreshed. Mm -hmm. But Fiji doesn't come in a can. The other reason we even do this, I mean, I'm going to out myself, but it's because it is in a can. Yeah. You can. It makes a noise. Bottles don't. Otherwise, I probably would get a much, what I consider probably a better water. Yeah. Like, it's good. Masabi has sodium, right? Yeah, which is going to make you more thirsty. Mm. Yeah. I think a it's lot of, like, bottled water has insane. sodium. fucking insane. Yeah. I think my... I specifically get Ozarka water, I think, because it doesn't have sodium right. in it. My stepdad and is, like, super... Yeah, my stepdad is super fucking weird about that shit. Good. So he's like... Well, they do weird Ozarka. shit to our food and water supply. Yeah. Like, you, we should be more worried about it. Mm -hmm. That's not even just some nerdy conspiracy bullshit. They're doing it. Yeah. When you look on the back of a water bottle and the ingredients are listed, mm -hmm. you should wonder <laughs> what the fuck's going on. Yeah. You know, and they're marketing... Like, I saw one one time. I think I've said it on here. 
their marketing ploy was that it was zero calorie. And I was like, no shit. Mm. What the fuck? Would, why would it have calories in it? What the yeah. fuck is in this? What are you talking about? It's watery, bitch. I thought this came from a glacier. Of course it's zero calorie. You're fucking <laughs> yeah. lying? Where is this from? Oh, my God. <clears throat> yeah, anyway. It's scary to think about. Yeah, well, got to start doing something. Yeah. Other countries, they do. They show up and they spray fucking manure all over the walls. You know, we got to start doing something. Yeah, dude. Because it's getting insane. It is. Food don't taste like food. Tastes like chemicals Ooh. now. You're just like, ah. I hate it. I can't it. enjoy shit anymore, dude. Just like, well, that's cancer. Yep. I'm going to die for sure. I give it a week. <laughs> <laughs> that's a lump. I knew I should have had that banana. Fucking knew it. Fucking banana. <laughs> the mushy banana. Fucking Chiquita, you bitch. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. So how'd you get into music? Let me let me go back there. Like, I, I've I always loved your, music. Yeah? Yeah. Because you say you want to be in music. Are you a musician? I'm not a musician. I just want to be like, I've always had people like come up to me and be like, oh my God, you have a great taste in music. And that's just because mm-hmm. I listen to so much music. All of it. All of it. Right. They're like, like you said earlier, no biases. I love music of all kinds. It doesn't seem like you do. I mean, you promote everything. So. Yeah. I, I just love it. It's like therapy for me. Mm, um, I get that. Yeah. So I, I've had friends come up to me and be like, hey, you should be like a promoter or you should be a producer mm. or something like that. And I'm like, okay, like that's really interesting. But since I've started Arkansas Creates and just being able to go to shows, all the shows and see how they kind of are organized and stuff like that and structured, it's become more enticing to me in the way where I, like I mentioned, I wanted to, like I want to book shows mm. and just have all kinds of like i mentioned all kinds of creatives like right. all kinds of genres all kinds of vendors at multi the shows. multi-platform shows exactly Those are my favorites yeah like that mixed genre show the full moon records just had yep. this past weekend like that shit's oh sick. you did that right i didn't do that no. oh you didn't do that i was there but oh, okay I, yeah good we need more of that that's my favorite the older mm-hmm. i get the more i like that yeah like i want to see a hardcore band a country band and a rapper exactly and in between that, I want a stand-up comedian. Like, yes. I want it all. Like, I'm, I'm just, like, greedy now. I'm like, oh, just give me a show with it everything. It would be so sick. So sick. Uh, me and Marcus from Dead Party, we've talked about, It like, gets you in the room with people you would have never met. Exactly. And most people, I feel like, not everybody, some people are definitely just, like, I like this, and that's what I like. Mm. You know, like, I like classic rock, and I'm not budging. That's my jam. Yeah. Okay, cool. If it caters, no, no it, when it caters to everyone, I love that shit. Yeah, me too. You know what I mean? Huge fan. Yes. Big fan. And it's it's just something for everybody, and I think I think that does so well for the community. I think so. When there's so when there's something that you can actually go and enjoy for everyone, it's, I think gets more people involved. Exactly. Gets more people in a room that might not have ever been in a room. Who mm-hmm. knows? You meet somebody over here, and and the sharing of ideas is. I mean, that's kind of life now. Yeah. We have, like, podcasting and YouTube videos, all this shit, just information oh, constantly. It's We're in the information age, right? Mm-hmm. So it's, like, this is more important than ever. Two people who would have never thought, I was like, oh, and then you're talking, and now you're sudden, you're spitballing, like, your podcast idea, and then I'm, like, my brain's firing off, and I'm, like, we'll put it in a thing, do a thing, put it, you know, but, and then you're shitting out ideas, and I'm shitting out ideas, and we're, like, wow, we just did a whole fucking session, and boom, you figured it out. Yeah. It's, Absolutely. Yeah. I, it's just, I can't say it enough. It's crazy. It's literally crazy. Like, I started this shit two years ago, 2022. Two years ago. That's crazy. Fuck. <laughs> yeah. But yeah, I started it in 2022. And like I said, like, I just wanted to post schedules for my friends' bands. And now it's fucking. Right. You went from schedule posting to like full on. Artist spotlights. Are, about to, artist spotlights. Pro, about to step foot into promoting. Like, yeah. Yeah. It's crazy. It always it's always becomes its own thing. It was cool to watch this thing. This thing's been now not it was it's nowhere near if I showed you the original, like I still have the book with all the original drawings and like ideas and Hell yeah. And it's just like nowhere near. It didn't even start like that. I was like I it was like a two year conversation mm-hmm. and then it just like it just never got off the ground. I was like, fuck it. I'm literally in a night. I was just like, I'm just gonna do it. Made everything clacking away just created a ton of accounts paid a bunch of money yeah like got everything set up and was like you just have to fucking start doing it or it's never gonna happen press publish press publish (laughs) that's it man don't be afraid to ask and just hit publish fuck Mm. it 
If, you know, if it's wrong, you fix it next week. Exactly. That's all, you know. You can always correct your mistakes. Always. 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 So you always have the next time. and just yeah. do, But just don't ever not do it. Yeah. You it's all a learning going. process, dude. Yeah. It really is. Yeah. And, you know, even when you perfect it, you've still got something to figure out. Like in this thing is now, it has morphed into like, not just music. Like now it's like, let's just have whoever. Yeah. Like it's just, it's more like an open forum campfire style traditional old school like original podcast and I, lo- I love that part i love it too. it's long form it's just share whatever you want talk mm-hmm. about whatever you want doesn't matter yeah then that's great because it's more free-flowing like and i'm fucking add as fuck but it's like ideas just coming out of thin air go oh, let's go down that fucking hallway mm-hmm. like with your thing and it's like you can be in music. You'd be, you'd probably be a good producer. Although I will say, when you get into like producing and managing, it's called, called peek behind the curtain. Mm-hmm. It tends to you tend to find things out that you're like, fuck, that's what it is. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's where the jadedness comes in. Ah, oh, <laughs> dude. I wouldn't say that I would necessarily want to do producing as much anymore but like <coughs> i think you're too sweet to be a producer you kind of have to be a little mean sometimes yeah. yeah yeah i mean i can i can be a bitch sometimes but like we all can oh, but i think your natural disposition is not that exactly and I think, i'm a very people person and i i like yeah. to i don't know I just, you'd be like um you know the verse is just sorry. instead of like yo Stop stepping on the fucking thing. Like, you got to do this better. Like, yeah. now. <laughs> Time like, is listen, money. Uh-huh. This is what you need to do. Yeah. yeah. And then they're like, whatever, get me a Pepsi. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck you. Where's the Pepsi? <laughs> uh-huh. <laughs> but booking, though. Booking is booking something. Booking is good. Yeah, booking yeah. is something that I've, it's just been more and more in my brain lately. There for you sure. Go. I you should w- do it. Have you done a booking yet? Uh, so me and Marcus from Dead Party, we did that one show in Conway at Full Moon. That's what I'm thinking of. Yeah. That was like my first event as like Arkansas Creates. Okay. And so I loved it. I heard I it went it. well. Sorry I didn't make it. I'm, I've worked no. at Vino's now, so it's just like I yeah. never have fucking time to go it's to all other good. shit. It's all good. Uh, yeah, it, it went well. Like I, I was very happy with it. Good. I was very happy with it. Um, the bands were awesome. Shout out to them. Um, well, it's Arkansas bands. We're, we're becoming fucking... Legends in our own right, just for having yeah. such a fucking stronghold on like solid locals, dude. It's like throw a talent? fucking dart, and just yep, they'll do. Yeah, <laughs> there's so much talent in this state, dude. It's crazy. That's crazy. I so love it much. though, and <sighs> it's always been that way too, though. Yeah, just less than what it is right now. Mm-hmm. And I think more and more of those talents are yeah. becoming more noticed too. And I just like y'all yeah. deserve that. They're shit, getting dude. out there. They're doing internet stuff but more importantly they're doing like runs they're doing tours they're yeah doing like, you know like zash doing their first tour like, did you see the thing yeah. they put up this morning what was it what's it called ufc not ufc uhc kurt lcy what is it lcy uncut lcy uncut what is that it's like um it's like a black and white video it's one take of one song and it's like a guy in a room, and they're in like a white room. Oh, so shit. like it's and the whole thing's black and white, but it's like a brightly lit white room, no seams. So it's just like they're kind of like on the. It's probably like a backdrop if I had to guess, and the floor is white too, though. But it is, and they just move a camera in and out and around for one song only, and they put it up today, and it's fucking awesome. Oh my gosh! Apparently, it's pretty famous on. I've seen a handful of them. It's it apparently it's it. It's like a good promotion tool. Yeah. But shit like that. Like if somebody started doing something like that here, like, I don't know who, who pro- like somebody like Kurt or something. Mm-hmm. It'd be, it's a space problem at that point. Yeah. The room to do it. Mm-hmm. And the technology. But I feel like we're almost there. Yeah. We're, we're climbing up to being like where we can have all the little things we want now. Mm-hmm. We're almost there. Right now, multi-channel is tough. Multi-channel is a son of a bitch. I can imagine. But I think... I think within the year, AI is going to really open the floodgates Dude. for what we can do here. Yeah, that AI is something else. Well, they got a program out right now. Like, if we had the money, we could do it. Mm-hmm. But it'd probably be like, so you're looking at like 1200 probably like $1,700 mm-hmm. for the year to have the service. 
<clears throat> but it's where you can log the information into your cameras instead of doing like what we're doing here, mm -hmm. switching between everything. It would be uh, like a, it goes in, sees everything. You put the audio in from a DAW, like a, so it's better audio, and it puts all that in line. And then like it says, oh, channel left. Okay, camera channel left. So channel right's talking. Okay, camera camera on the right. Yeah. And it just auto edits everything. That's crazy. And then it will also, while it's doing that, it will shit out like 20, 30 reels yeah. or TikToks with the words already on them. And then it scores them by virality, like what its odds of actually having traction are. Mm -hmm. That's so interesting. It's a hundred bucks a month, which is steep, but I feel like there's clones of this coming yeah. soon. And it's like a year and mm -hmm. it's like just film it and, and then just sh put it in a thing and it's going to be like boop here's a here's a beautiful perfect no, the audio's yeah. perfect the video's been corrected here you go there's no yeah, <laughs> yeah. that's awesome <clears throat> so it's going to get real easy yeah soon but you still have to have the quality so, but we i mean the quality's already here yeah for the for most sure. part it's just like now and going out and about and doing things on the run that'll make that you don't you won't really have to worry unless your unless your equipment breaks down. Mm -hmm. But again, if it's AI controlling the audio and the video, you just use your backup like what we're doing. Yep. Put that in there. <laughs> it's like it's just as good, and it could probably like it could probably still like you know what I'm saying. Like yeah. it probably still scale in and move side to side even in one frame, so it's like multicam. Yeah, that's crazy, dude. I'm just saying, like AI, man. It's gonna ch it's gonna ruin everything and change everything all at the same. Like mm -hmm. so many jobs lost, but it's neat. It is neat. It's scary as fuck. Oh my god, it's terrifying. It's not good. I don't like it. I'd like to pour water on it, but it is gonna make this a hell of a lot easier. Yeah. But it's also gonna make it a hell of a lot more pointless too. Because mm -hmm. they're just gonna be able to go. I mean, we Click. can already do it. I want to hear this person and this person have a conversation. Yeah. I don't even care if it's real. Just hit the button and they all go, well, here it is. Mm. It's done a couple, you know, there's been a couple comedy specials done that are from dead people. That's crazy. Uh, songs now. My oh, buddy. yeah. Oh. I've seen that. That's fucking weird. It's, it's fucking, I'm like, if you told me this was a band, I would believe you. Yeah. And oh, no. Oh, my God. They're already doing it. Do you see the fucking shit on Spotify? They they got somebody somebody caught a bunch of fucking AI accounts that they have. I didn't see that. Like making money for the company, oh, fuck. like on the no. back end. Yes. What? Making money off that? Yeah, because it's getting streams. Yeah. Lots of them. That's crazy. And it's favoriting, of course. Well, how did it get on all these playlists? Well, goddamn, they're on the shit. Yeah. Oopsie daisy, and no one knows, so no one gives a fuck. Yeah. Terrifying. Dude. But that's wild. But on the other hand, it will drive people to venues because it'll be like, I don't even, I want to see real music. Mm -hmm. So, and that's where bands make money. So mm -hmm. it will be good, right? So there's the bad. But honestly, if it's the internet's bad, is that bad? That yeah. place is a shithole. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. <laughs> yep. <laughs> it's cool and it's not. I don't know. Memes are great. I feel you. I like comedy mm -hmm. but i don't know i'm rambling i just think we're in for we're in for a wild ass ride dude and i think it's within two years once that agi shit wakes up mm -hmm. everything's gonna change that uh artificial general intelligence where like it can think for itself it doesn't have to i, I think it's a step right before consciousness like where the thing is like for real for real mm -hmm. like a, a being of some sort and they're already close. They tried to fire the AI guy from that company, right? Yeah. Because he was fucking too close to getting it to work. Like, what? what do we do? Why? Why do we keep going down this road? Haven't you seen Terminator? No, like, it's, <laughs> it's, it's fucking terrifying. It's terrifying. Like, right now, we can just pour some water on it, mm. and it goes away forever. Mm -hmm. We don't have to think about it. But everyone has to agree to that. And yeah. that's never going to happen. That's never going to happen. So... It's not not a problem. Like, it is happening, and it's probably happening within the next five years. Yeah. Of true artificial intelligence. Maybe ten for, like, the one that's, like, sentient, and we might be afraid to kill it because it might have a soul or some shit. Mm -hmm. 
fuck. <laughs> That's so fucking creepy yeah, to me. Yeah, dude. It's bonkers. Like, dude. Well, it scares the fucking shit out of me. I spend a lot of time reading about this stuff. Yeah. It's fucking, it's like, I mean, we're already there. We've mm -hmm. opened Pandora's box. There's no closing it. So, we, like, it's coming. Whether you want it or not, you better move your ass to an island somewhere. It's like fucking, it reminds me of the fucking thing from Stranger Things. Like the little, the weird shit that comes out of the walls and shit. That's what AI is. The upside down? Yes. Yeah. That's what I imagine AI is. <laughs> well, and then the, it's fucking even more insane. It's like, where is it? But we're going to give it a consciousness and access to these machines where it can manufacture itself? Mm -hmm. What the fuck? Yeah, dude. Just Crazy. Always, like, uh, so 3D printing, metal robots. We have metal 3D printers now. The shit's only going to get more and more efficient. That shit could already be awake and we would never even know it. Yeah. It's just living in servers and Wi Fi routers, just waiting for the moment. It can piece itself together like fucking Ultron mm -hmm. and, and rule the fucking world in a fucking moment. Yeah. They say they might not know. Like that's a, that's another scare like scary thing. Yeah. If it wakes up, it'll decide in a moment's notice that we can't even detect whether it wants to let us know or not. Ugh, I hate it. And so if it is able to escape, which there's a fucking thing where like it escapes on like a thumb drive or something. Like if what the fuck, I'm scaring myself. We're just saying. Yeah, I got chill on yeah, I'm like, ugh. I'm rambling. I'm never leaving my house again. Yeah, it's fucking <laughs> insane. Sorry about your anxiety. You go home, you're like, text Have like, a panic Fuck you, asshole. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck you, Corey. You did this. <laughs> this perks for you. Or whatever. What do they do for anxiety anymore? Not, not, it's probably not that. What's a medicine for? <laughs> now they all have wild ass names. Yeah. I take like fucking. God damn, what do I take? I take like three fucking meds, dude. Three? Yeah. Three? Yeah, I'm up to two. I'm on, um, I know I'm on Raylar, which is a really... See, what the fuck? It's for bipolar. Oh, But okay. it's like a really interesting name, Vraylar. Vraylar. Like Vraylar. Sounds like someone you'd meet at a rave. Hi, I'm Vraylar. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. <laughs> uh, damn, what are the other ones I'm on? Or like an outdoor fest. Like yes. one of those weird wood festivals, Vraylar. Hey, y'all. The wood nymph. <laughs> I'm Vraylar. <laughs> <laughs> It's crazy, like, like you said, the names are just like the bonkers. names are wild. I yeah. can't pronounce any of mine. Oh no, there's I'm like, one I'm taking right now, and I'm just like, hmm. you sure you just didn't yeah. pick out random ass letters and put them together? <laughs> exactly. Like, I'm like, I'm pretty sure this is in Mountain Dew. Mm, I yeah. can't say that at all. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> what chemical is this? <laughs> mm -hmm. uh, well, I guess it works. I don't know. Oh, it's a pain in my ass. I hate taking meds. Do you forget? I do. Does it scare you? Yes. Yeah. Same. Mm -hmm. Why the fuck is that? I don't know. I, I forget sometimes, and I'm like, oh, shit, am I going to have a heart attack today? Like, yeah. I think it's because the doctor was like, well, I went in because I was going to have a heart attack, like, legit. Mm -hmm. So now every time I forget, I'm like, fuck, is it going to go up immediately? And that's not the case with yeah. what I'm dealing with. I don't even know if that's the case for what you're dealing with. Like, because, like, does it come immediately if you stop taking it? Um, so it, I it, haven't experienced it coming immediately, but my doctors are always like, you need to take your meds. You can't miss it. Like it'll mess up your brain. Basically. I know if you miss it too much, it'll yeah. fuck with the chemistry and it'll offset. And then you have to go take a stay in the, mm -hmm. in the, you know, a nice room yep. for a little while, yep. get some booty shots and then they flatten yep. you out, you know, <laughs> which is fine. That's why it's there. It's good. Yeah. But you can't play with it. It's like 7 a.m. is 7 the fuck a.m. Mm -hmm. I don't care if you went to bed at 6 Wake your ass up and take it. Yep. Yeah. It's really important to do, but like you said, like I forget that shit so much. I do it all the time. Mm -hmm. Like, what the? How do people live where they have to do? I have a buddy who's fucking <clears throat> diabetic and has to take like fifteen fucking medicines. Hell no. Like what? How do How do you remember to take all of them? I you don't know? fucking. I have no clue. I'm like, damn. Just be like, it, it must just have to. You like, I guess. We, we're probably like more artistic brains so it's like our brains are a little more messy mm. and some people are more regimented like I have friends that wake up and they go to the gym and then they go to work and then they do this and it's there's like, no way yeah no I could never <laughs> no. I forget shit I'm supposed to do all the time Same. I could be having a phone call right now for some shit I'm supposed to be doing I have no idea like last night I was like 
I swear there's something I'm sp- somewhere I'm supposed to be, and yes. I know I'm not there. Yes. Oops. That's like me earlier. I forgot that I had shit at 1230 today. Oh, that's right. Yeah, yeah. exactly. And I had to text Kurt and be like, oh, shit, dude. Is 130 good? Like, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, we were just here bullshitting. Kurt was like, God damn it. No, no, no. <laughs> I'm going to kill that bitch. <laughs> <laughs> How fucking dare you not respect my time? <laughs> no, I ain't doing shit. Uh, the worst thing is now I have to go home later and edit this because I'll, I'll do this one tonight. Usually we're leapfrogging, mm-hmm. so like I can kind of just like, oh, it's Wednesday, I'll do it now. Yeah. Uh, but we're on week to week right now, which is scary because things happen. Mm-hmm. And like last week, we got screwed. So mm-hmm. now I'm like, we have a backup no matter what now. Yeah. Because we were just being relaxed, like, oh, don't worry about it. And it was like the microphone was bad, and I hadn't used them technology how, how does it work i had a microphone that worked perfectly i put it in my backpack i didn't use it for fucking prop i mean a year mm-hmm. and then i take it out of the same backpack that it's been living in plug it in use it it's bad what the fuck what a bitch dude how the fuck does that happen yeah i don't get it i don't even use that backpack that often mm-hmm. whatever so now I gotta now I gotta go get a new microphone for portable shit. Damn. Or or you know sometimes if I have notice I'll take these which I did actually. Yeah. <laughs> they were in my car. I got out of my car to get in another car and mm. left them in my car. Oh, dude. Yeah, like a big old dummy. Damn. And then we get there, do it, and I'm like, oh, that was great. Should have checked it. See, <sighs> this is why you check your audio. Yep. But we don't do that. Fly by the seat of our pants. <laughs> That's another thing you should learn. Like, test. Test your shit. Test your shit. Yeah. Like, here it's nice because we have this studio and mm-hmm. everything's the same. It's a formula in here. But when you go out, just do 10 seconds. Check, check, check. One, two, one, two, one, two. Okay, click. Watch it. Perfect. Mm-hmm. Not in our case. <laughs> Y'all are like, winging it. <laughs> Pretty much. Yeah. <laughs> it works, though. It does. It makes life more interesting. Yeah. We had fun. It was in a crazy-ass, weird, like, cult building. Was it really? Yo. Oh, Temple Live. It was mm. insane. That building is insane. We got, I went, I went rogue. Yeah. Yeah. I just started like literally like, you know, the Homer Simpson Bush thing. Dude, the oh my God. Yes. Place. I just literally started like following, like just fall through a door and I would just walk where I wanted to. And I would just be like, and I got lost. Like the kitchen had a dungeon in it with wood shit on top. And I was like. I'm afraid there's skeletons in here. Yeah. So I'm going to leave that Someone one. Someone said there was a snake pit. I found it. I <laughs> promise you I found it. It was it was in the broiler room behind the kitchen, which is through a corridor. And it's like you're... And then I ducked under some other shit into yeah. this weird hallway that you can't just see. I just saw, like, the bottom opening of it. And then there's a fucking dungeon in the floor. And I was like, okay, maybe I've come a little too far oh my god and then i i didn't inspect the snake pit as it were and then i just like and the green room was endless and there's and then there was another back alleyway with another spiral staircase and then i got stuck in the elevator Mm -mm. for a minute Mm -mm. i pushed the wrong floor first off from the outside it doesn't look like there's that many floors but then on the elevator there are that many floors which is some real Pee Wee Herman type shit. <laughs> yeah. And I clicked on the... It also took two minutes. Yes, it took two minutes. It was very slow. Scared. And you don't know which door is going to open because it, it, it's multi. It's the door on both sides. Mm. But this room is on this one and this room's on this one. That's weird. How the fuck does that work? Because yeah. it's on the side of the building. Like, it, it's like fucking Narnia in this thing. <laughs> and... The door opened and I was like, it was behind me and I was like, what the fuck? And I turn around and it's just a black void. And I was like, oh, I'm going to die. I'm going to die. <laughs> there are creatures. Something's in there. Yeah. And like, I, I did too. Like before it closed, I peeked my head out and it's just black in both directions. And I was like, oh, what the fuck is this place? I'm out. It was nuts. <laughs> Honestly, had a great time. Oh, but yeah. it was scary. <laughs> oh my God. That's, that's intense. <laughs> it was. I'm glad we got to go and actually be like in there. Yeah. Because like it was an experience. Oh my I wish gosh. I had like I should have brought my phone out and been like, look at this fucking crazy shit. Yeah. There were statues everywhere. It was wild. Oh my gosh, that's like a whole other dimension. Where was dude. that? Was that Fort Smith? Tempe Live in Fort. Fort Smith. Yeah. That's crazy. If you go to a show there, 
in the small room is the cool room mm. because they don't they have they're pretty relaxed, which I hope they don't, I hope this doesn't get to someone and then they aren't. But like the kitchen doors are right there. You can just kind of boop like just kind of I'm just sneak in here a little bit. Yeah. I just waited till no one was looking and just like straight Simpson through the thing and just like <laughs> doo, 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 doo. <laughs> In my kitchen you mean the giant cafeteria. Massive kitchen. Unbelievable. Like, could have fed a fucking army of people in this kitchen. So fucking sick. Is that where Gideon played? Yes. Yeah? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Ta-da! Oh, hell yeah. That's Isn't that the so coolest cute. koozie you've ever that seen? Is, dude. <laughs> That's awesome. It just doesn't have a bottom, so it's weird. It's like yeah. it's not really doing its job other than keeping the cold off your hand. True. But Damn, like, that's cute, though. Yeah, and, and it has to go over the top. It can't go from the bottom. But there you go. <laughs> oh my gosh. Little boot. <laughs> That's awesome. Solid merch. And I think it was only like five bucks too. Hell yeah. Eight? Eight bucks. I would have taken all of plus them. Plus a tip. There you go. Because I tip. Okay. Yeah. yeah. You tip? Yeah. You good Always. tipper? I try to be. Yeah, I try to be too. 25% if I have it. Yeah. Yeah. For sure. If I had all the money, I'd just be like, what is it? Double money. it. Yeah, I just double yeah, yeah. it. That's what I always tell myself. If I ever get to a point where I can do it, mm-hmm. I would double just, oh, it's 25 bucks? Okay, 25 bucks. So it's 50 bucks. Yep. Wouldn't that be so sick? It would be. Do you ever daydream about shit like that? Yes, all the time. Yeah. <laughs> if I had the fucking resources and the money, I would just be like, yeah, you want 50 bucks? Here. Here you yeah, go. Yeah. Oh, I bought a, you know, you bought a, say you bought a MacBook. Yeah. 1500 or whatever it is, two grand. Two grand, Best Buy guy sitting there right in front of you, whatever, blah, blah, blah. I'd be like, okay, cool, two grand, yeah, okay, here's here's two grand for you too, and then just leave. Yes. Sick. Mm-hmm. God, that's a cool fucking option. Man. Man. If only. If only. <sighs> that's why I can't have money, because oh, I'll just be God. broke again. Same. I'll just give it all away. I'm, I'm so just like, bad at money. Oh, so... fucking hell. Horrendous with money. <sighs> like I'm like, what even is it? I don't care. It's just numbers on a fucking phone at this mm-hmm. point. <laughs> it's so bad. I need to do better about it, but God, it's so hard. I mean, I don't know if I can. I've tried mm-hmm. a handful of times, like in my life, to be like, I'm gonna save. I'm gonna be responsible. Mm-hmm. I'm gonna, you know, like the envelope system where you're like, this is for this, this is for yeah. that, left over. I can't do that shit. I can't either. I quit all the drugs. I even quit smoking. Now I'm not even drinking, probably. Mm-hmm. I haven't made up my mind fully, but it feels like it's probably there. Yeah. I got, I'm not spending money on any of that stuff. I'm still broke. I don't do shit. I drive a lot. Yeah. I do drive a lot. I do and spend a lot of money on gas. Yeah. Yeah. Although, I just saw today is like, <laughs> this is such an adult conversation. <laughs> I was like 279. Yeah, I was like, boy. yo, oh, it's shit. in Bryant. I know. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Damn, let me go there real quick. Well, my car gets a lot of good gas mileage, so it's worth me like detouring to the good gas yes. price. And I was like, maybe on the way home? I don't know. I got to go to Guitar Center after this. You do? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Get a strap. I got a new guitar. Oh, I should have brought it, man. Oh, a my seven God. string. Oh, shit. Yeah. That's I'm going to be a menace. Dope. People are going to be like, seven. People are going to be like, why do you have that? Like, because it's fucking Because it's awesome. fucking cool? Are you kidding me? Because corn is great. <laughs> <laughs> Hell yeah. yeah. When would you get it? Uh, fucking literally last night. Hell yeah. Oh, that was the barter thing. So that's how you oh, got barter yeah, for okay. work. Yeah, it was yeah, that. Yeah, yeah. That's awesome. Yeah, absolutely. I'm stuck for you, dude. It's like they got, awesome. a, they got a nice new pretty bathroom floor, and mm. I got a dope-ass fucking shred machine. Hell yeah. Yeah. I... I, I Went home, played it for about an hour. Mm-hmm. I was like, this guitar fucking rules. This was such a good, like, trade. Like, it felt like we both won. Like, yeah. it was good. Like, I felt good about doing the work. The work turned out good. Mm. Got rid of the bullshit that was there. The work, the shit that was under the... Fu- it was so fucked. Uh, it's like, made it look good, and then got that. And then I woke up this morning at 530 before I went and like finished that work mm-hmm. and was and played it for like another hour. I was like, I'm gonna be pl- I'm gonna play the shit out of this fucking That's guitar. awesome, dude. <laughs> Hell yeah. So I'm pretty stoked. Honestly, I'm probably you. gonna go home and fucking just, just just while I'm editing, like so when you're editing and all whatever and you you know you have to bounce it down. Mm-hmm. Well these long form ones, it takes <clears> like an hour plus because it's so much fucking 
footage there that it's just it just takes a while yeah so I, I i usually just sit there and i'll turn on like youtube videos or i have a tv in my office i can watch mm-hmm. uh i know poor pitiful me right <laughs> <laughs> oh uh, my office <laughs> yeah, my, op- my home office with my tv and my computer <laughs> got a bookshelf too <laughs> Uh, damn. <laughs> and now I have uh, the mini SNES, you know, the little bitty ones they came out with there for a while. Mm-hmm. And now a PlayStation one. I haven't played it yet. I'm going to plug it in maybe tonight. I'm going to decide it's got cool borders on it. Do you ever play cool borders? Mm-hmm. You're not old enough for that one. It was like one of the first PlayStation uh, games. Jet Moto? Yeah. Jet Moto, cool borders. In the 90s, NFL Blitz. get the fuck out of here. That shit, yeah. that was the shit. Such a fucking fun two games. Jet Moto was, fuck, I, there's an app now on the on my iPad that I have that is basically Jet Moto, and I play it all the fucking time. Hell yeah. Yeah, Kirk gave me a remote that'll Bluetooth to it, mm. and I'll sit there and I'll just be playing fucking, like, you have to do, th- you know, my mind, I can't, I can't not be doing some shit. I can't just sit still for a minute. So that's kind of been my thing is, now I'll just play guitar mm-hmm. instead of being on my phone or whatever because I have an interface right there. Yeah. Like, it's right there. Just plug it the fuck in and turn the, turn the damn program on and do better. I've been on my own case about that for a while. Yeah. Over phone, you know, mm-hmm. too much phone time, yep. screen time. I need to do better about that shit, too. It's like if I'm going to be on there, <clears throat> like in your case... If you're going to be on the phone, instead of just, like, endlessly, you know, doom scrolling, Mm -hmm. just, I'm not, I don't feel anything. I'm not even liking shit. I'm just like, oh, that's a cool guitar. Mm -hmm. Uh, Maybe send some emails or log back into Twitter like Kurt and be like, hey, I saw you're coming to town. Do you want to do this podcast? Or in your case, you're like, hey, can I write a fucking profile up about you or whatever? Yeah. Like... Oh, yeah. Do you ask first or do you just do it? No, I ask. You do? I do. I reach out usually on uh, Instagram or something and I'm like, hey, like, I was just wondering if you'd like to participate in an artist spotlight. And usually they say yes. I was going to say, has anybody ever been negative about it? No. Okay, good. No. I have to beat them up. Yeah, right? (laughs) (laughs) You heard it here first. Corey's out to get you. (laughs) (laughs) Would just be a weird thing to be negative about, right? Yeah. I've gotten so much, like, positive feedback from that stuff, though. yeah. Like, even from, like, the hip-hop community, which is huge. Good. Because, like, you know how the hip-hop community is. Like, there's not a lot of light yes. sh- shown on them. Yeah. But I've had K.O. Lewis, for example. They are a rapper from mm-hmm. Little Rock. And he has been so support- like supportive. And it's just a good feeling. Like, he, he's reached out to me about, um, like, doing events and stuff. Like, oh, yeah? Yeah. You need to do that. There's yeah. something very, there's a movement happening in hip hop in yes. Little Rock right now. Yes. It's good. Mm-hmm. It's a good movement. It is. There's a bunch of young, thirsty, like they want it. They're they want hungry. it bad. Yeah. Not thirsty, hungry. That's the word. Yeah. They're hungry for something new and different and like more togetherness. Mm-hmm. It's very been very exclusive, you know. Mm hmm. For a long time, there was a lot of competition and blah, blah, blah. And now you see them pairing up. Yeah. They just want to perform. They just want to perform. They want to do their thing. There's like multiple. There's two separate hip-hop nights now at Vino's. Mm -hmm. And each time they do it, more people show up. Yeah. I mean, they literally started at the ground zero, like a five-person show. Mm -hmm. They didn't make any money. You know, like even, you know, as a venue, you're like, I don't know if we can do this again if you can't bring people. Yeah. You know. Uh, and now, I mean, I think the last one was like a hundred people probably. It was like that. It's fucking amazing. That is awesome. That's the threshold. When you hit the hundred mark, you're like, you're doing something fucking damn yeah. spot on. Keep going. Cause you can grow this to where you're selling out. The next step is bigger venues, mm-hmm. which is fucking awesome. Yeah. That's what you want. For sure. You know, the, the, the starting floor you're supposed to grow out of, mm-hmm. you know? Unless you're just like me and you're just some old fucking dude having fun, you know. <laughs> <laughs> Book it at the same place every time because who gives a fuck? <laughs> Damn, hey, it works though. It does. Or play a. I, I want to play a. I play. I want to play one of those skate park shows. Those look fun as shit. Oh my god, like at Canis or something. Yeah, yeah. just something. I don't care where. Yeah, just anything. 
I, I played one back in the day, and it was fucking amazing. We played in between two quarter pipes. It's like there was just skating going on. That's awesome. Literally zipping right past you. Oh, my gosh. It was great. Good that's times. Like, that was in Texarkana, though. That's crazy. That's like a movie. It was like a movie. You know? Shit like a movie. Yeah. That's what the kids are saying. <laughs> I heard that one. I'm like, I don't even... I get it, but that's an odd way to say it. It's like, shit was like a movie. But there's a proper way to say it, and I don't know if I'm saying it right. So, fucking children. Bah, humbug. <sighs> no, I'm just kidding. Uh, you kids. <laughs> but, yeah, shit like that. Like, now all I have is, like, oh, that'd be fun. Mm-hmm. I want to play a country bar, but I want to play southern metal in a country bar. That'd be sick. Like, a true deal, like, they don't do the cages anymore. God, I wish. Mm-hmm. The, you know, the mesh where they throw beer bottles at them and shit. Mm-hmm. Oh, in my dreams. <laughs> oh, man, what a good time that feel. Fucking sounds like an amazing time. <laughs> dude. Just dude. pissing everybody dude. off. Yeah. Hell yeah, dude. Just yeah. riffing like a fucking god, and then Bring and then being on. mad about it, and be <laughs> sick. Like, you're talking about like Roadhouse with like a big cage in front of you. Yeah. Yeah. Like yeah. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. That's awesome. I would love that shit. It'd be so much fun. <laughs> yeah. I have a chaos brain though, so like anything that remotely resembles something that we're like danger, mm-hmm. I'm like, yeah, let's do it. I tend to flock towards it. It's like, ooh, we can <laughs> make, uh, that's a spicy <laughs> evening. <laughs> uh, now, what's yeah. the hurt scale? <laughs> I don't want somebody to die, but you know, it's kind of neat to what watch somebody. What kind of damages are we talking here? <laughs> li- it's just a little laceration. You'll be fine. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe some internal inju- injuries. But. That's my that's my <laughs> thing now is like have an idea, find a way to accomplish it. Mm-hmm. Maybe I do it myself. I'm pretty good at that. Yeah. Maybe I just get some chicken wire. I yeah. staple it to the ceiling at Vino's. Staple it to the fucking stage. Make your own fucking and cage. And just do it. And be like, everyone bring tomatoes or empty beer bottles or something. And we're doing this. Yeah. Yeah. Game on. But I went like all wood. Pa- you know what I'm talking about. Like mm. those old, old, like side of the road bar fucking venues. Yeah. No one wants you there, period. But you're there anyway. Mm. And fuck it. And just go crazy. Dude. And film the whole thing. I guess Kurt's out, but it'll be fine. <laughs> <laughs> That would be so sick. It would be sick. Oh, my God. We'll just get you to book it. There you go. There we See, go. And then we're starting a journey. I'll book it, <laughs> you play it, and you get shit thrown at you. Yeah. It's a deal. And you sit at home and not have to deal with it. <laughs> yes. I'll watch from the corner. <laughs> Can you live stream it? <laughs> Can we zoom in? Yes. <laughs> Imagine. Your tour manager's here, and you just pop open your MacBook. <laughs> this is Kevin. <laughs> He's uh, he's angry that you didn't pay us the whole amount. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, yeah, you'll learn some. Uh, you'll see some things promoting. I really want to get into it. I really do. I think you'd be good at it. You should. You definitely should. If you think you would be good at it, you mm-hmm. probably would be good at it. Especially if you like it. I do like it well, a lot. Go. And, I mean, like, I, I love people. Heart's the only thing you need to make something good, you know? Yeah. It's just don't get don't get too discouraged when things don't work because there's definitely going to be ones that don't work. Yeah, for That's sure. That's just a fact of all of it. I've done shit where I'm like, <laughs> well, I guess that's a, that's a never going to happen again. Yeah. <laughs> like the merch in the back of the Vinos, that was a fucking mistake. That Dude. haunts that decision yeah, yeah, haunts yeah. me. I get it, Corey. No, it was it was the best idea <clears throat> in the moment. Me and Kurt both like this is awesome. This is, I mean, I can't believe they. no one's ever done this. Why mm-hmm. would you not have it back there? It frees up all that room in Vino's. Uh, no one gave a fuck. Really? Even the people that, yeah, they go to smoke. They're sitting there staring at it. Every, the whole thing failed. No one made any money. I, th- I don't think, some people didn't even sell stuff. Damn. It was a big mistake. Mm. Like, fuck. And it was a sold out show. Completely. That's crazy. When you yeah. walked out and then there was like, there was no way to get to it. It was just yes. like a shit ton of people smoking and then the merch yes. was all the back. Yes. Uh, so like you were competing for floor space with the cigarette smokers and the people who just want to chit chat versus the people who want to buy your shirt and look around. Yeah. And there's just not enough space back there. Damn. Yeah. That sucks. It was that, a bad idea. Yeah, no. Now do it. Yeah. So like things like that. Yeah. Oops. <laughs> but you, Living to you learn. Know, but hey, you don't know if you don't do it. And yeah. there's only one way to, you know. Sometimes you need a slap on the hand. Exactly. So. Need that push. Yeah. Things like that. 
But don't be afraid to try new shit either, though, because failure is good. It mm-hmm. just shows you what not to do. Exactly. Yeah. And uh, we need more promoters and more everything. We need more promoters. We need more bands. We need more venues. We, we need, need more, more all of it. Money, yeah, we, we really more, do. We need more Angry Orchard. Another, well, <laughs> we more, I do like a good Angry Orchard. <laughs> there's two apples in every bottle. <laughs> That's what it says. It says there's two apples in every bottle. Which, if you think about it, that's only like this much of yeah. a bottle. There's not a lot of juice in an apple. Mm-mm. I think, have you seen the obscene number of oranges that are in like a fucking thing of orange juice? That's why all of it's from concentrate because it's easier to fucking do it like that. Yeah. It's so many oranges in, you know, that Tropicana. Oh my God. Yeah. Like the carton The or whatever. jug or whatever. Yeah. It's, it's insane. You're like, what the fuck? That's like half a tree of shit. Where do they even get it all? Mm. Because guess what? I can go to any store and buy it. Where does it all come from? Mm -hmm. That's Uh, crazy. I think about things like that all the time. I'm like, how many oranges can you fit in this How many oranges are there? Okay, at the store you have, what, Tropicana. There's always an off-store brand Mm -hmm. one. And then, like, what's the other big name that always competing with Tropicana? Not Lipton. Uh, Simply. Simply. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <clears throat> right? So all three of those are in every grocery store all across just America. Just think about America alone. Mm. 50 states, there's probably fucking 20,000 fucking uh, grocery stores or more. Yeah. And they all have three flavors. All three flavors are stacked to the back. <coughs> every Dollar General you walk in, every Walmart you walk in, every fucking Kroger, every fuck everywhere. Mm-hmm. And it's all day, every day, 24 hours a day, seven days a week. It's there. It's an option. You can go grab it right fucking now for $5. Yeah. And drink the whole thing and then go get another one. How many fucking oranges is that? And why? That's insane. The world may never know. It's ins- <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> that's how my brain works. <laughs> how is that a fucking reality? I want to see. I want to know how many fucking orange orchards there are, which we have two, California and Florida. Mm. But between those two, they're feeding 300 million people. It's a lot of fucking oranges. It is. So many how goddamn oranges. How do y'all oranges. get so many yeah. oranges? Anyway. That's what's crazy. up with you? <laughs> Not much. Oh. All right, is it getting to you? My ass kind of hurts. Yeah. But it's okay. I'm and sorry. That's the comfy chair. Yeah. <laughs> well, how long have we been going? Uh, hour 32. Yeah, cruising along. Cruising along. Feels like 10 minutes. Yeah. I, I never, I have a poor track of time. I feel you. Yeah. I feel that hard, actually. So, um, you should start promoting. I really do want to. You should just start doing it. I'm just, I, it's. We're, just, we're starting to right here, right now, call out four bands. There you go. Do yeah. a show right here. Right Fuck, here. Even right do now. three bands. Yeah, just pick the bill. And just go with it. And then reach out to them later today and then, and then find a venue with an open date. Yeah. It's that easy. And it's... I just get so nervous. You shouldn't. That's the part. So nervous. You should. Well, if you have a good idea, it's you, nothing to be nervous about. You know the bands that'll sell sell the, sell the room. Well, we, mm. know we can sell the room. We're still like, is anybody going to come? That's only for the big, big stuff. Because that shit is <laughs> like... A show... I'm not worried about a show. Mm. But like sometimes... Like with the cover show, it's just like... That's Last saying, year we thought we were gonna bomb. Literally, we we're like, like, we did not push this hard enough. Yeah, biggest one we've done. Yes, it was just like it, it. So many kids. There's just so much involvement in something like that. Our uh, our album release show. I mean, I was jittering with nerves, literally, mm-hmm. to the minute the doors opened. Like, yeah. and then and then finally, my brain was like, "That's it. That's it. You have you've had all the time." Mm-hmm. This, whatever happens, happens. Thank God it was perfect, but it was like, it the first year with the cover show, yeah. yeah, it's it was like, you don't get an option, uh, like literally to the minute I was fucking trying to fix things or do something or mm-hmm. your brain just won't fucking let you have a fucking moment of peace. Yeah, I worked on that show for months. It, the cover, the first cover show was a six month ordeal for just my band. Oh really? Yeah. Yeah. Just learning songs yeah. and then trying to help Kurt put it all together. And then we were like, every day was like an idea fest, like with this or that or whatever. Oh, And then we just like, oh, well, let's build a fucking light show. Okay, let's build a fucking light show. Mm-hmm. And then we. What you guys did like two days before the show? We built an exact replica of Every Time I Die's giant eight. It was a giant eight foot eye. No way. Old English eye that we made 
in my employment spaces warehouse. That's awesome. <laughs> it was fucking insane. That's awesome. We went and got sheet metal. Like we spent two hundred forty dollars on that fucking thing, something mm-hmm. like that. And like all the light bulb housings, like drilled them all in, wired everything up. Nah, it got dismantled. Yeah, it got dismantled. It, it it stayed together for a few years, but when I moved, I was like, I don't want this in my fucking house. Yeah. Like you take group, somebody would have paid That's you what I told him. That's what I told him. It ended up in the dump. Yeah. Damn. Yeah, just got dismantled and thrown away. Like That's he could have sold it for like easily a thousand dollars, and they would have paid for shipping. I mean, yeah. it was an exact no, replica. That's crazy. We were we we went back and looked at old photos, and we're like, this is how many light bulbs are in here. This is how they have them placed. Like. Yeah. Everything. It was to the T. We probably could have given it to them as a present. And be like, do you want a second one? <laughs> Damn. Which now they would have. It, it would probably just be in the trash again. Because it did not end well for them. So. You know the yeah. actual ones like sitting in a warehouse somewhere. Oh, for sure. In a storage unit. Yeah. Like, or it's in one of theirs garages or something. And shit. Mm-hmm. Yeah. It's sitting. It's sitting at the fucking. What was their label? Uh, not yeah, Trust Kill. Uh, not ferret. Fuck. What the hell? I don't even remember who they were on. It was a good one. They had a pretty prominent label, but it's probably in like some back channel was warehouse. It Kevin at the end? Huh? No. no. it was the same label the whole time. Oh. Epitaph. Epitaph. There yeah. you go. It was like probably some Epitaph warehouse with all their old merch. That I'm sure they actually still sell. Mm-hmm. I wouldn't well, mind. Their bands have been dead for 20 years and they're still putting out I merch know. runs like every week. But the label's the one getting the fucking money. Yeah, it's usually it's the label just fronting it as the band. But. Isn't that weird? That's weird. And then the band, I they're probably getting a cut, but I bet it's like ten cents. Yeah. I bet it ain't shit. But if you're not having to do any work and it's still something, I really mean, well, yeah, you know, that's like, uh, that's true. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> well, I didn't have to do anything. I guess it's twenty dollars. Fucking. Did you ever go to Warped Tour? Mm-mm. No. Have you ever been to any festival? Uh, I went to like hangout festival once, but I haven't been to many festivals. What's hangout festival? It's like some oh, yeah, yeah, some bougie. Big stage. Yeah. Morgan Wallen type shit. Yeah. What was it like a free trip or something, or you went with some friends? No, I went with a couple friends. Uh, it was like 2014, I think. Oh okay. And I was just like fresh out of, not fresh out of high school, but I was in college, and I was like, oh my god, go up shores. Uh, college? What'd you go to college for? Um, I was going originally for psychology and criminal justice, but that did not happen. Clearly. Yeah. Did you drop out or? I did. Hell yeah. I did. Yes. <laughs> Good I on you. Hell yeah. <laughs> Two years and I was like, no, nah, fuck this. You know what? Did Turns out. high five if I dropped out right before I walked out? <laughs> yes. High five. <laughs> <laughs> you still stuck it to him. That's all I care about. <laughs> Fuck you, student loans. <laughs> yeah. Right, right, right. Dude, those student loans, dude. <laughs> yeah, man, you know, if you don't look at them, they're not there. It's I only fine. Went one year, so it wasn't that bad. You only went one year? Yeah. One year, two semesters. What's that, 100 grand now? No, I dude. UAM. UAM was like 3500 bucks a semester. Oh, well, that's, that's fucking, yeah. that's doable. And I had a Pell Grant, so most of it was all paid for. Oh, oh yeah. that's not even that bad. Yeah. What were you in the What were you in the hole for, or did you get like grants and stuff? I got some grants, but I had to fucking take out loans at some point. I still owe like seven thousand, I think. That's not too bad. Yeah, that's not too bad. I don't know if it was the same for you, but like all of the smart kids in my school got all the scholarships. Mm-hmm. Like the ones that oh, already that's had who it paid gets them. Times over. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that's who gets them. I was like, what the fuck? Like, they're smart. What about me? No, I get it. They're <laughs> smart, but also it's like, all right, because like at UAM, like it's the cheapest four year college in the state. It's like thirty five hundred bucks a semester. That's so cheap. Grand. I didn't even realize school was yeah, that cheap. Yeah, you can still. go for four years for under like fifteen grand. That's crazy. And it counts the same as if I go somewhere different. Yeah, that's more money. It's the same as you. If you got now, how the you fuck does that make those? sense? <laughs> what the fuck? Yeah, Hold on. A, a question for your so does where I guess where it came from? They're probably like, he's got it, but it's from this place. Well, yep. I mean, yeah, like there are colleges you can go to that aren't like accredited where like you, you the diploma doesn't mean shit other than iTunes college. University. iTunes University? Absolutely. That's a thing. It's all the college courses. You can just take them and you get like a thing, but it's not. Oh yeah, like Google has like certificates and shit. You yeah, can yeah, yeah. You can take the classes, things, like, but they don't. You pay like 25 bucks and then suddenly you're like certified yeah. in coding, you know? Yeah. Mm. So it's the same test you would took in college and you get a certificate, but you don't have a degree. So it's a way to prove you know how to do it. You just don't have a college degree. Yeah. Which I think if I'm an employer, I don't give a shit. It's like, can you do the fucking work? Are you Literally. good at it? Yeah. Then come I've on. I've never been asked to prove that you graduated high school. 
Never. I actually don't have my diploma. I, I, I've never seen it. I really? got it. I didn't even go to graduation because oh, yeah. fuck that. Yeah. I went, snatched it out of my fucking principal's hand because he tried to make me shake his hand. Fuck you. Did burnouts in the parking lot. As you Because I'm a rock star, god damn it. Yes. And I took it to my mom and I said, I hope it was worth it. And then I left. Oh, yeah. To be fair, here you are at 40, still going to shows, still playing music. I'm the same the fucking thing. person. You know, so like, shout out to that. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I still live in a mobile home, but you know what? I own my own car. <laughs> That's all that matters. I'm only... <laughs> That's right. My dog does rule. Wife's all right. <laughs> no, she's cool. She's actually awesome, but whatever. Still haven't seen Breaking Bad? Still haven't seen Breaking Bad, no. Have you not? No. Oh, no. I love that He shit. really does. Really? It's good. It's, it's just, good. It's too, it's too much. It so is like, a I lot. don't have six the years to fucking... The shit is because I did the same thing about Holes, and then he finally watched it. And then I critiqued it from a modern point of view, and everyone hated me for it, so I should have never watched it. Yeah. He thought Holes should have been backwards. It should have been backwards. The better story was a love story. Um, the holes thing should have been what they were cutting to. Yeah. The story between the two people was far more intriguing than what the actual. I can fix that. Yeah, it's just kids with digging holes. It's just fucking. It's like <laughs> this is so fucking silly. Yeah, but... No, no, the love story was better. You know I'm right. Stanley yelled at. Me. Everyone who is listening, they know I'm right. You just don't want to admit it because you're attached to it because you were a child. It's fine. <laughs> And the cast is they, insane. They watch that, like, in school. The cast is insane. Mm. Yeah. No, like, I was like, what the crazy. fuck? <laughs> Who said yes to this? Why? Everybody. Because it was Disney, and yeah. Disney was on fire, and everyone wanted to be on that movie, but I feel like that was when they changed CEOs and Disney went like this, mm -hmm. but that would have been y'all's childhood, not mine. Yeah. I'm 10 years older, so you're 10, I'm fucking 20. You think I give a fuck about a Disney movie? Mm -hmm. No. I want to drink and do hood rat shit with my friends. That's what you I was doing. You were doing that 10, too, though. Well, that's true. Hood rat trouble. I tend to like it. <laughs> even still, even though I know I shouldn't do trouble things, I yeah. still be like, mm, this is maybe this is an option. <laughs> <sighs> Whatever. But now Can I have you like. That car instead of swerve? I mean, I've had the thought. Oh, yeah, my God, times. yes. Oh, okay, well, you've done that. Yeah, I could pit maneuver him right now. Corey, we're in a Civic. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> hey, don't true. make me get the Hyundai Elantra out. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, it survives puddles, big ones. Big ones. There's more plastic on this car than metal. No, 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 no. Well, no, 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 no. It's it's more metal. The whole body, the whole back part's metal. It's fine. Yeah, sure. We'll be fine. It's fine. The it's fine. The engine are metal. Everything you just have to. You just have to go place. with the flow. Literally. I used to be really good at it before I had, like, another life I took care of. Mm -hmm. Like, my wife and dog. No, no, no. I've never done one. I've always wanted to, but I've never done one. Uh, it's like a defensive driving class. Dude, that would be so much fun. Yeah. I've thought about that a hundred times. Like, going to those, like, beefy crown Vicks. And just God, like, yes. Or even go to, uh, I think it's in Dallas. I know they have one in Vegas. Oh, yeah, they can literally, like, drive a Ferrari. Yes, like, the sports yeah. car thing. You want to go 200 miles an hour in a Ferrari with us? I would throw uh, up. Would you? <laughs> I would. I would be like, yeah! I would throw the fuck up. You're not good with speed? Mm -mm. Roller coasters and shit like that, I can't do. I don't like roller coasters because this is going to sound, I mean, it's egotistical. I'm not in charge of it. Yeah. So I'm scared of it. Yeah. yeah. We were just talking about this. his friend FaceTimed him from like Disney World or whatever. Disney World. And I was like, I would love to go to that, but I don't give a shit about the ride. Mm -hmm. No. Like the, so li like the, the line, the the line yeah. now at Disney is interactive. You're yeah. not in line like a line. You're in a fucking room with all this shit around you that's going on, and it's like a fucking. There's robots moving around, and yeah. like that's crazy. they had a win. Star, Star they had a window. Or... It's just a window, yeah. but in that window is frosted, and it just looks like characters walking past. It's so like they are down yeah. to like the minute detail. It's not a real window. It's just a screen back there. But yeah. that's part of the fucking whole lot. You're just in line. Yeah. That's and R2-D2 and C-3PO were having a conversation, like, back and forth. And you're just like... While you're just waiting. And he's like, okay, we're, we're going to get on the ride now. I was like, that's not the ride? <laughs> okay. I he was on the ride. I was like, yeah. you're very specifically not supposed to, like, film anything on the ride. And then he turns around and they're just walking down like a fucking... Well, I know that. Have you seen the Avatar one? The floor removes. 
removed. And you sit on this bike looking fucking thing and the floor just goes and disappears and it's all screen. Oh hell no. It's an immersive and it oh, so dips it you. Move, it so you know those like, creatures? Yeah. It dips you down and you're on this fucking thing and you're going with it. Like mm-hmm. IMAX style. But you're Six feet away from it. You can't... Like, your brain... It's like virtual reality around your whole body. There's no way. Do you remember the really cool, big-ass IMAX near the airport? Yes, absolutely. The cert, the dome one, we had only yeah. one of a... What was it? One of, like, it was five like of those? the only ones in the state. Like, in the fucking in the, country. In the country. Yeah. And it closed. I went to that a bunch. We went to, like... Yeah, we went to field trips on that. That shit was they so had, like, sick. like, planes hanging from the Dude, and shit. yep. The NASA That's one, cool. the space one. Mm-hmm. I mean, it was just like, what the f- why did that die? It was the sphere before the sphere. It was. It was the first version of that. Dude, it was so sick. IMAX is just a brand. Like, yeah. before it was, hey, the fucking, it's fucking like 100 feet tall. The whole room is yeah. a screen. And it really is that. Uh, that's why I kind of want to go to the fucking stupid sphere thing. God damn it, dude. <laughs> I know I'm going to end up going. It's like 150 bucks just to walk in the door. Are you serious? It's concert or not. Oh it has my to god! Be the right, like I, I'm, I have to go well, for a show. Apparently, it's. But it has to be the right show. Well, it ain't gonna be fucking you two. I promise you that. Which that's <laughs> all that's there. You, we'd probably have a fucking great time, even if. I would have a great time. Already. Of course you would. They have a thousand <laughs> hits. You know every song. Of course it would be fun, but I can't let it be you two. <laughs> it's gotta be something different, man. Like I think what's Coldplay gets their hands on it. Coldplay, because they are kings of even transforming an arena on their mm-hmm. own. Yeah. Uh, Muse, yes. Muse yeah. is cool, yeah. <sighs> Foo Fighters would be tight. Insane Clown Posse. <laughs> oh, you oh, know shit. what? <laughs> yeah, that would be insane. <laughs> Just Fago coming over the thing. Uh, uh, who's the band? Okay, go. Oh shit! Mm. Imagine what they could do with interactive spaces. Do they, do they play shows still? Uh, probably not. This is making music videos. I mean. To be oh, fair, like, cool. that's all I need. Yeah. All I need from yeah. them is a music video. Their music videos are literally the best. Mm-hmm. They win, right? Right? <laughs> right? No one, no ones are, are better. Name a yes, better because one. because they do everything practically. It's all real. It's all real. The one they shot in like seven seconds and then slowed oh, it down it's and it's all... Right? And, and he just went... Yeah. And it matches up. Like, it, they planned it to a fucking on, like, literal ultra, millisecond. And it's just an arm moving around the room and everything's happening, exploding, blah, 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 blah. Mm. And then it happens in literally what? I think it's like nine seconds or yeah. something. That's wild. And then they play it back and it's the entire song worth of time. That's crazy. And it's crazy. super slow motion. Yeah. It's the coolest thing I've ever fucking seen in that my life. That is cool. Best music video ever. It has to be. Like, I'm is there an argument to... for a better one? I'm just trying to figure out how to do the whole, like, you know how it's like, Slow motion, but the like the lips are still singing at the same time. But the thing is paused. Yeah. Yes. Like there, like there's one where like the dude's running, and he's running in slow motion, but his lips are singing the right in real time. I think they're. You basically have to like play it at double time or something like that. I think that's what it is. Yeah. I think it's two shots, identical shots, and then they it's layer one the shot. two. Oh, they do it. Yeah. It's just like play. You play the song at like double or triple speed or whatever it is. Maybe they know and they have to. They have to sing it in that like hyper speed for a while they're running. Oh, so when they slow it yeah. down, it's regular. Yeah. Oh, it wow, that's insane. creative as fuck. That you is see we could do that. Yeah. Like you've got to talk like an auctioneer, but you have to like fucking practice it at like. Imagine if speed, Twista yeah. did that. Oh <laughs> shit, that would be mind fucking. <laughs> just like. Well, he is inhuman. Yeah. It's unreal how fast. <laughs> yeah, it's, it doesn't even make sense. I love fast rap, and I'm just like, ah. Twisted, you hear the new old Eminem song that came out? I like it. The Everyone's shitting Eminem. on it. I'm like, it's fine. No, it's, it's what? great. The video is insane. The video, that's what I liked. I was like, this video is nuts. I haven't seen it yet or heard it. It's it's cool. Yeah, I mean, I don't know. Like, uh, yeah. What was it, Dr. Dre? It's like, Eminem it's very like Slim Shady-ish. Oh, yeah? Yeah. Or are they calling it M Shady? Because it's like both things. It's like it's a mix between Slim so, and yeah. or Slim and M. That's what they're calling it. Yeah. Slim and M. Slim and yeah. M. It's like he brought back his alter ego, but it's still got some flavor, like some Eminem flavor in there. Yeah. I just like the the cadence is fucking fantastic oh, yeah, yeah. in it. I love it. I was like, well, this song fucking rules. What's everyone bitching about? Whatever, dude. Slim and it's M. the it's internet. Slim, it's the it. internet. Yeah. They don't. <laughs> it's like everyone was like. The new fucking Star Wars show, which I'm 
listen, they deserve to be criticized as it's fine. It's fine. It has a ninety percent on the critic side and then a twenty eight percent on the user side, which does happen because Disney's been known to pay off fucking people. But when you go into the thing and you look, it's all AI bot reviews. They all have no fucking followers. They have no profile picture. They and they're all brand new Mm -hmm. accounts. Like they were created like four days ago or whatever. And you're just like, so this isn't real. This is just someone AI bombing right a bad review bombing which sometimes works necessary yeah. sonic we all remember ugly sonic mm. it worked cuz now the new sonic movies they rule mm-hmm. uh which have you seen those i haven't yet do you watch tv i don't good for you i don't you're smart i like i said i just listen to music mostly really yeah you like records yeah you have a record player and shit i do sick you sit down old school and just listen to a record sometimes yeah but mostly I like get on Spotify or something, and just put in my AirPods and That's just chill. Fine. Yeah, just chill and listen to music all day. For real? Yeah. You got a cat or something? You just, I do. Okay, good. Yeah. Look, like you're not just in a house alone, just listening no, to music. No, right? no, no, okay. no, no. Like I'll, I'll usually like go outside on my back porch and just like put in my AirPods I and just you. listen. You and smoke? Yeah. Okay. There you yeah, go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's a vibe. Mm-hmm. I miss cigarettes so much. I don't smoke cigarettes. <gasps> well, you just smoke weed? I do. All the time. No. Oh, okay. I'm actually trying to quit smoking. You're like, yeah, like 10 blunts a day. (laughs) Oh, God. I used to smoke so much. Dude, I used to smoke so fucking much like that. Uh, I was pretty heavy into it. And then I was like, I should quit. Yeah. And then I went to edibles. And then edibles are just hallucinogenic now. So Mm -hmm. it's not weed anymore. I I, I got off weed because it's not weed. Yeah. Like, that's a new drug. Mm -hmm. Whatever they've fucking done to this shit is not marijuana. Mm -hmm. We call it that. But it ain't that. But I shouldn't be able to see things coming off my fingertips. Fuck no. Because I smoke too much weed. Mm-hmm. Oh, yes, you should. Oh, no, you shouldn't. That's crazy talk. That's like fucking... That's scary. And now they break it open and shit's dripping out of it. And I'm yeah. like, I can't. I just can't. I have to... I just gave all my stuff away. I was just like, here you go. I can't remember who I gave it to. It's a good day for them. Mm-hmm. It's probably a hundred bucks worth of fucking weed. No, for real. I'm I'm on like day three of not smoking, so I'm like, but oh, you'll be here. back to dreaming regular. Yeah. Yeah. And I have a friend, and she she recommended it for me because she was like, she knows my anxiety. Just and taking shit. a break. Yeah. You know it's psychoactive, right? Like in in like what's like, it's like one in a hundred thousand people. Psychosocial. Yeah, like it's not. It, they that, I think that's one of the things they learned out of making it legal was. It affects more people than you think mm-hmm. negatively. Like most, no, but one in a hundred thousand is a lot of people. Yeah. Well, there's, you know. My I, thing is, is I, I've just, I've smoked for so long that I just kind of used it as a crutch, kind of. Ah, crutching so, on it. Yeah. So, like, if my anxiety was bad one day or something, I'd I be just like, oh, well, I just need to smoke some weed. Right. And I don't want to do that shit. Right. I don't want to depend on Instead anything. Instead of depending on yourself to get through it, you're dependent on a, this thing, which yeah. that sucks, too. Exactly. I get that. I, I, I got that way with uh, booze for, like, body aches. Mm-hmm. There was a period there when I was in my 20s where it was just like, yeah, I'll just get six. And yeah, then by... I think I have a problem. I can drink a 30-pack. Well, exactly. So now I'm drinking a 30-pack literally five times a week and then saying, no, I'm not an alcoholic. It's like, no, bitch, you're an you alcoholic. <laughs> <laughs> That's the definition of it. Yeah. So really what it was, I wasn't fighting body aches. It was fucking withdrawals. Exactly. You know? You're just I lying get so to grumpy if I don't smoke for a while, which I'm, I'm fine now. But right. like, if I don't smoke for a while, I will be a bitch. I will be so grumpy. It happens, but that's a withdrawal. Yeah. Yeah. And I hate it. Yeah. I hate it so much. I hated it. This man went cold turkey, didn't you? Cold turkey, everything. Beer's the only thing I've weaned off of, and I think I, I, I keep saying it, but it's I think it's there. Don't let go of it, I just don't. It's, it's a mental thing now. Yeah. Like I really don't. I like that stuff. I like being drunk Maybe or I like, no it tastes like shit what's the point yeah I, mean, I, don't I don't know the flavor isn't what I like about the beer it's the mind it's the mood change mm-hmm. I don't I don't have to get hella drunk although I am a fun trunk happy <laughs> drunk so it's like ah! yeah, yeah, yeah a lot of my fucking best stories come from nights where I don't really remember most of it yeah so it's like it's a good but it's not good now it's not good anymore. So mm-hmm. I think I'm just at a crux in my life, like a turning point. Yeah. I think that's what it is. As much as I hate it, I think I have. there's a reality to life that I'm not 20. I'm very far from 20. Mm. 
I'm as close to 60 as I am 20. It's terrifying. But it's true. So, Mm -hmm. oh well. You don't get to be fucking young forever. Exactly. In your body. My mind will be fucking 27 for the rest of my life. For sure. For sure. I'm fucking never going to be not like, whoa, dude's head fucking popped. That's crazy. (laughs) But my, you know, I've done so many things to myself and still currently do that I'm trying to not do. Mm Mm-hmm. It even fucking pains me to say it. It sounds like nerdy as fuck. Like I gotta do, I gotta do better. Yeah. <laughs> Treat myself better. It's true. You'll die. It it takes a toll on your body for it sure. It does a lot of day yeah. one, and it did, and it still currently is. Yeah. Bah humbug. Bah humbug. But imagine if you didn't recognize the stuff at this point. Yeah. I know. I know. So you'll just continue to do it until you're. 60. I'm not. Yeah, yeah. I don't want to be like a fucking fifty year old that's like, come on, man. Like Smoking, I. Drinking, not you know. Sleeping, working your ass off. Right. And just being a, a fucking miserable fuck. Yeah. Like, I know it makes me better. Like, I work all day now. And for the most part, I feel fine. I'm a little exhausted from the last probably week because I just have not had a moment. The mm-hmm. crazy part is you just cold turkey caffeine, too. Yeah, cold turkey caffeine. Man, that's uh, all I need to do. Yeah. I need to cut out caffeine so bad. Well, caffeine's another one. It's not... Now that I know what caffeine does, I'm glad I don't drink the shit. I didn't realize it's more like an SSRI than it is a uh, fuck. It doesn't speed you up. It blocks your brain from making you think you're tired. Mm-hmm. So the more it does that, the more weird you get. That's exactly it, what I wanted to do. But. <laughs> well, <laughs> but that's not what I thought it was doing. So yeah. that's, that's a fundamental problem. You think <laughs> this is how this is working, and it's not what it's actually doing at all. Mm-hmm. So really, you're just fucking yourself out of maybe finding something that does, like a like a vitamin C or a yeah. B12. You know, something that's not harmful. I'm sure, in large doses, but what isn't? Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So, you know, uh, one of those vitamin C packets, far superior than any cola or energy drink you can shove into your body. And when you don't have caffeine to function, mm-hmm. you can function a lot better. Straight. He, facts. He had a Dr. Pepper, like a t- can. Like a can, 12 and ounces. And he was fucking jittery the whole rest of the day. It was weird. I was like, this used to take a thousand milligrams of caffeine, literally, and I would take a nap. And now it's like, if I accidentally ingest caffeine, like some things have it and you don't realize, yeah, I'm like, oh, fuck. <laughs> and I'd just be like, like literally my hand was like this after a can of Dr. Pepper. I was like, this is poison. Yeah, dude. I hate to be that person now, but it's true. It's so bad for you. It's so bad for you. Just don't have it. Yeah. And, and, and it took like a month-ish to get like my body to be like, oh, we don't get this anymore. Mm. Okay, we'll start making whatever energy in the body is. Yeah, I work all day now. I feel fine. Well, I'm sure your thyroid working is actually helping with that, too. Eh, it's part of it, for sure. You're not wrong. I did have a medical actual problem. Mm-hmm. But all that did coincide at once, so sure. But I think that's more my appetite, which, you know, and even that, too. It's like, well, go down to fucking chicken and rice. Because now when I, like... You do a lot with chicken and rice. You can. You can. You do a lot. You got to get creative. You can have a yep. fucking different ethnic meal every night of the week. Which is you can. Rice. But the problem is, is the salt stuff. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So I try to have to watch that now, which is hard to do because everything has it. It's a fucking preservative. Like, it's in everything. Mm-hmm. Sugar, too. You know how many fucking seasonings you have that are, have sugar in them? Dude, I can Go home imagine. and look. It's crazy. Yeah. It's probably all of them if you buy the cheap stuff, which, oh, yeah. of course I do, right? <laughs> I can't buy the fucking glass jar time. Fuck no. No. Six dollars for that fucking yeah. thing. One Ridiculous. dollar jug. Sugar filled. Yeah. It's not even actually time in there. It's just <laughs> shit that tastes like it. Yep. It's like the shaker cheese. Yeah. It's sawdust. That's not even Parmesan. It's not real. Mm-hmm. Tower of cheese. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> but guess what? Tastes badass on spaghetti. <laughs> Oh, spaghetti sounds so good right now. I want stuff for spaghetti. It's <laughs> <laughs> spaghetti so Damn, that sounds so Plus good. Meatballs. Oh, Kurt about to pop a Eddie and fucking get spaghetti. Yeah. Mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah. A little spaghetti Eddie Kurt, spaghetti they call him. Meatballs. You're not coughing as much. I Yeah, I noticed that the other day because I started coughing. It was last, this morning, actually. Yeah. And I was like, well, that hasn't happened in a while. You take a medicine that like helps us thyroid, but it makes it cough. It makes me cough oh, like really? all the time. Yeah. Damn. So I'm kind of worried 
maybe the medicine's not working. Up the dosage or something. Yeah, I, I have a I have a doctor's appointment. I mean, hopefully it's still working and you just you know. I think maybe yeah maybe it's like that's what I do hope because if they up it it'll probably come right back which they're gonna have to because it's not exactly correct. Like my numbers were still high last time I went so this time is the time where we go check them again, and if they're still inflated then. Now I get the upload. Like, it's going to be, like, a year of testing. It's, yeah. like, constantly, like... Because if they overshoot on a thyroid, it's really bad. Because mm -hmm. shit starts to go the other way. And I'm like, I kind of want it to go the other way. Can we do it for a little while? And they were like, no. Can you give me some of those I, well, they were like, it'll be overactive. And overactive does other things. Yeah. And mine's basically off. Or was off. Mm -hmm. And... They were like, no, this causes hair loss. It does all this kind of crazy shit. And I'm like, ah. yeah, I don't want to maintain weight. I just don't know how to lose it. Well, I couldn't. Yeah. Uh, yeah, I can maintain pretty well, actually. But. Thyroid's yeah. a bitch, dude. Huh? Thyroid's a bitch. Yeah, well, I, you know, I always thought something was crazy because I'm crazy busy. Mm -hmm. And not just like, I got to email 3,000 people. Like, I have a hard fucking job. I'm sweating constantly. I drum three nights a week, sometimes four nights a week. Like, yeah. That d d never made sense because I, yeah, I eat like shit, but I only usually eat like once a day. Mm -hmm. Now that I have to eat less, better food, then it's like twice a day. But it's never, I'm definitely burning more calories than I'm taking in. Yeah. Like for sure. But for some reason, it just never comes off. It just never comes off. And then I go there and they're like, yeah, you don't have like a metabolism. I never felt full is the problem. Mm-hmm. It's so like snacks. That's what that was the bigger issue. So that's why I'm like, back off snacks because I like you know you get home and you're just like, I don't want to cook. Yep. So what do you do? You snack. fucking snack. Easy shit. Uh huh. Mm -hmm. And what's easy shit? Bad for you. Mm -hmm. It's not good because it's in a package and it's been there for seven months and it's still edible somehow. Mm -hmm. Seven months. Oh, dude, you know how long shit sits in those warehouses before you get before you <laughs> when get it? When I went to Walmart, they were doing their whole, like, our produce and, like, food is never frozen. And I was like, I see it roll off the truck. It, it literally froze. froze. Like, it came from a factory. It's sitting in a warehouse frozen for they two were, months. The, mm -hmm. the, the caveat was, like, it was never frozen from the point when they purchased it. Right. They still purchased it from a warehouse where it was frozen in there. Right. And the second it hit their truck, they never refroze. That's why they put wax on the apples. Yeah. You know, they only pick apples once a year. So, when you buy an apple, full of at too. some point, that apple is a year old, and yeah. it's still edible. That is crazy. Oh. If I put it in my fridge, it goes bad for me. That's right. Sense. That's right. Well, because you get it at the point of... But also, you're talking about salt as a preservative. That was refrigeration back then. That's right. It was. Just fucking rub salt over everything. Sure. And it, keeps it, from and it lasts action. forever. It does. Yeah. You can cook meat with salt rubbed all over it, bury it in the ground, it fucking... F pick that shit up a year later and fucking eat it. It's crazy. That is crazy. It's crazy to think that's insane to think about. Yeah. Vegetables. Have you seen this now? There's this guy did an experiment and he put vegetables in a box in his basement. And one of the boxes, he put them in dirt. One of the boxes, he didn't. And he pulled them back out like a month later. The vegetables that were in the dirt box, perfectly fine. The vegetables that were just in the box, rotted, goo, disgusting, just that's like you would so think. That's so crazy. What the fuck? Fuck. So we could have just been burying this shit. Yeah. Like if everyone just had a fucking burial basement room, which is kind of like well, a refrigerator. Like, yeah. Think about it, like like I, a dirt I refrigerator. Assume, I assume oxygen is one of the It's oxygen. Yeah. It's right. So you're limiting the amount yeah. that it can get to. Yeah. But it's also where it's supposed to be. Carrots and shit. They all come from the ground. Mm -hmm. Potatoes. They're fine until you pull them out. Of That's the right. Until they that. start oxidizing and dying. Whoa. Yeah. You remember the experiment where the dude never eats a again. cheeseburger and put it on a plate? Like, I'm never plate. showering again. <laughs> he just like put it on a plate and like took a picture of it every day and after like three months it still looked exactly the same. There's a guy that has one from like 30 years ago. Yeah, it's the same. the same. dude, yeah. It's just the same thing. Yeah, he still has like, a receipt and shit. He keeps it in a tin. It's ever, the most disgusting fucking thing. It's like it just doesn't, it never went away. That's crazy. It's black. Yeah. It's not it's cheese. It's oil. Black. Yeah. Yeah. It's because it's not cheap. You know, they can't even go to the super... I, this conversation has gone off the rails. <laughs> if, you go, if you go there to the fucking cheese aisle, because the government makes them put cheese, look how much shit doesn't have the word cheese on it. It says, or cheese or, or, or say slice. 
like craft slices, not yeah. craft cheese, because it's not fucking cheese. It's more. It's closer to plastic than it is cheddar. Oh my god. Yes. Yeah, and don't even get me started on seed oils. What the fuck? Seed oils? Dude, I'm telling you. I'm not even making it up. You can look it up for yourself. This is not like wooby frooby bullshit. It's not even fucking like hippy dippy. It's just. How do you feel about seahorses? Love them. Yeah. Except. Isn't that the only like animal where the male also carries. They can be. No, each one can be whatever it wants yeah. to. Like, it's. Right? Seahorse, the only one that's like, even if it's by itself, it's like, I'll just make more of myself. Mm. But they think sharks can do it. Or they can hold in the gestation. Like, they they time it. Because then they, didn't they have a shark that was, like, in captivity, and then it gave birth, and it wasn't pregnant when they caught it? You know what? Mary did the same thing. <laughs> You're not wrong. <laughs> There's a whole book about it. I don't know if you've read it. <laughs> yeah, I think I heard of it. Yeah. It. yeah. It's old. Yeah. It's been around a long time. Mm-hmm. Very popular. You definitely didn't sleep with the stable hand in a while. No, 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 no. Listen, they wrote it down 600 years later. <laughs> It's fine. I'm sorry. We're not supposed to talk about that. It's okay. My bad. Well, it's funny because, like, I'm a very spiritual person. I, you know, I'm still like, that sounds fucking whatever. Okay. We'll just go with it. Well, it's like you can be spiritual and also be like that. But what if sense. that was a scientist in a room and we're all just living in a fucking AI world already? Mm-hmm. Dude, if we can create it, the odds that we're already been created and then that's us too yeah. are almost 100%. Right? Yeah. So... It's just a big old circle. I think there's parts in there that are Have like... Have you watched that Black Mirror episode? We, I think we talked about it, yeah. Dude, that show fucks me up. Same. I can't Every watch it. Every episode I've watched, I'm like, what? we're fucking... Uh, we're so do Arrival? Have you ever seen Arrival? I've seen parts of it. <laughs> oh, oh, one of the only films... That and Annihilation. Annihilation is unbelievable. Yeah, that movie's crazy. That movie is a fucking... It's a... Phys- it's a visual representation of like a full on panic attack at the mm. end that fucking creature thing at so the end the mirror is. creature mm. <laughs> what the fuck it, it also <laughs> insane uncut gems have you seen uncut gems mm-hmm. don't you, uncut you probably mm-hmm. shouldn't see uncut gems it's a panic attack for two hours like fuck take no. your medicine and then watch it it's <laughs> fucking it's insane take five out of it and then take yeah, yeah 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 literally oh, bro, you, you finally get to the resolution and, oh. and even the resolution you're like what the fuck what the fuck? You're like still freaking out and then the credits roll. Yeah. And you're like, what? <laughs> yeah, th- that, th- this is that movie. <laughs> <laughs> Just fucking hands up. What yeah. the fuck was that? Yeah. I don't even know. That movie rules. Adam Sandler knocked it out of the park on that movie. Oh my gosh. This is how we win. Dude, I need to. <laughs> I'm slacking on watching movies. You've missed a few decent I've, yeah. ones. Like holes. Do you like horror? At all? Yeah. Does it doesn't scare you? Doesn't get you all revved up? Mm-mm. See, I'm not a horror fan. See, Kurt doesn't. If you want to really I like, like to be I I love it, but I actually it affects me. Like I get actually scared. Yeah. Which I like because not a lot of things scare me, but like sometimes horror plays it so close to reality, like a fucking evil person. I'm just like, holy shit! Like mm-hmm. Texas Chainsaw Massacre, hundred mm-hmm. percent. That I could see like back on some West Texas road. Oh, yeah. Some weird hillbilly Dude, inbred yeah. family just chainsawing people in half. Mm. Makes total sense. Alert. And that is kind of where it, they, it, it is where it took place. <laughs> the house is there. You can go there. It's pretty cool. Anyway, there's one on there called Ritual. I've said it a bunch on here. Everyone needs to watch that movie. It's fucking insane. Yeah. It's one of the, my favorites of all time. It's this guy and they ha- and his buddy and they go to the woods. I'm not going to say why. It's very fucked up. Mm. The whole movie's Before fucked up. Huh? To perform a ritual? No. But the ritual goes down there in the woods. Have Holy you seen shit. The platform? I haven't seen pla- Oh, where the food comes yeah, down yeah, and yeah. live? No, I haven't it's seen that. Like horror, it's more like a thriller. It's a thriller thing, thing, yeah. Thrillers. Like thrillers, I don't really. Kaylee likes thrillers, so thrillers I. Thrillers can go either way. Mm-hmm. They can. But horror is just like, hey, I'm trying to make you fucking piss yourself for two hours. Yeah. I'm not. I'm good. It's so hard to scare me with, like, movies. See? Only realistic ones. Uh, all the other stuff, I'm just like. Good or not or bad. It's not anything in, you know. Mm. Uh, I had friends that were like, yeah, I watched that scary movie and I laughed the whole time. Yeah. That, How? That happens. Uh, Jimmy, my buddy Jimmy. Well, he, yeah, he's fucking obsessed hey, with that shit. When he's like the biggest critique, he's like, it stinks. And I'm like, that was fucking scary as fuck. Mm. He's like, that movie was terrible. They didn't do this. They didn't do that. I'm like, oh my <laughs> God. 
Are you a snob about anything? Anything you're snobby about? I don't think I've ever asked Not that. Not really. Really? Yeah. Not one thing? Um, I'm trying to think. Like if somebody's like something and you're like, uh, we're not going to do that. That's gross. Or or anything. No, I have to have it this way. Like a breakfast thing. So we were talking about food earlier. Uh-huh. I hate, we, I mean, you mentioned food touching. I hate that. I hate, I'm kind of picky about food, actually. You're a secular eater. You need the, the, the separate plate. Dude, I think those separator plates should be in Dude. every restaurant. Yes. <laughs> yeah. That should be an option everywhere. I think it should be. Absolutely. Like, cause Especially you can go to buffets Walmart. and shit. Like, uh, oh, yes. 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 Absolutely. <laughs> yes. And now, and now, if I go to a buffet and the stuff is already, like, touching each other, that's that's questionable. But I'm like, that would be it. If I see a drumstick in a corn bucket, <laughs> I don't want either of those things now. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I wasn't going to get Somebody nasty as fuck put that there. Exactly. Dude. That's just human behavior, which yeah. buffets, when you walk in, I mean, it's... The that's why house. you go when they well, bro, open. You got fucking, like, mashed potatoes and corn Listen, on the plate. I'm mixing all that together. But, but no. That's a... That's a <laughs> Going when they open is a pro move because it's not tainted yet. Mm. If you go at the end of the day at a buffet, that's your disease. Yep. You live with that. You earn that. <laughs> you know, you chose. it's like public bathrooms. <laughs> yeah. You had to do it, but did you precautionate yourself? Did you, t- you know, that's Dude. your disease now. No, there's no, I don't eat late night buffets. I try to stay away from that. Like mm. dinner buffet, if it's not right when they Imagine opened. There was a Waffle House buffet, though. God. Well, I mean, there kind of is. If you have a deep enough pocket, <laughs> it's cheap enough to wear. that food comes out like that. And mm-hmm. they cook it right fucking there. Southern hibachi, baby. Oh, I love that shit. Dude, Waffle yeah. House is so fucking good. I was like, I'm, I'm working. Like, I'm... Was he paying? <gasps> huh? no. Oh, well then no. I thought you <laughs> <laughs> Dude, you don't want fucking steak and eggs at three in the morning? Dude. You don't well, want a cup chicken, of chicken, though. Have you had it? Uh, I preach from the rooftops. It's a un- unknown hitter. It's no so one good. has it. It's so fucking good. It's so good. Yes. You get the chicken biscuit. I'm not. This is my order. You get the all star. Because mm. duh, why the fuck would you get anything I would else? Get the patty dog. Of course you do. Get the all star. <laughs> get it with whatever you want. Yeah. Chicken biscuit on the side, right? Then you get the chicken biscuit, you take off the buns, you take that, you make a bacon, egg, and cheese sandwich. Put a little hash browns on there, whatever you like. Oh, now you have a bacon, egg, and cheese, hash brown biscuit. Mm. Fucking delicious. Then you take that chicken, and you take the waffle, you quarter that bitch, boom, waffle chicken sandwich, out of this chicken and waffles, Unfucking believable Dude. Best waffle you're ever gonna have anyway Cause it's fucking Waffle House Yeah And then their chicken sandwich Is underrated as fuck Then the chicken in between that And then you finish it off With the fucking hash browns To fucking top the whole meal And my god Powerhouse meal right there Oh my there. god And it's fucking nine dollars <laughs> Well I think it's, it's like twelve so now But whatever I've never spent more than twelve dollars Yeah Even when I splurge Dude it's like... If I was homeless Sam's Club Hot dogs, they're like a dollar. Mm-hmm. They're this fucking big. And oh, fucking, dogs, and Waffle dogs, House. And Waffle <sighs> House. Waffle House, man. The I best. I really Waffle House when I'm like traveling on a tour or something. I'm, I, it's usually when I'm uh, inebriated of some way. Yep. Oh, well, yeah. yeah. Almost always. It's after a show. Yep. I've probably had a few beers. I'm hungry because the beers are in me. I'm like, we got to have this grease. I need to sop this up. Mm-hmm. You got to have the grease. Give me the grease. But you can, dude. It's so good. That place rules. It does. Fuck yeah, Waffle House. I for might life. fucking leave here and go to Waffle go House. Waffle honestly, house. <laughs> give me some grilled chicken shit. Yo, you should do. Get you a waffle, <clears throat> and I'm telling you, get you a waffle and a chicken biscuit. You won't regret it. Dude. And a house. Huh? And a house. And a house. Yeah, get a house <laughs> while you're at it. We were talking about AI earlier, and like uh-huh. fucking like bots. Tell me if this looks believable to you. Have you seen the new text? Uh, what the fuck? <laughs> Is I saw an old lady, Kurt. That is hysterical. What? This is a modern concert. Oh, okay. Yeah, she definitely is not selling Chapel Roan no, tickets. No, absolutely not. Chapel Roan? Yeah. So you don't know who Chapel Roan is, but. No, I don't. This lady is definitely not going to a Chapel Roan show. I don't think so. If I don't know it, she don't know it. Dude, I promise you that. That's 
hilarious. And she joined the same day and then was like, I have four tickets to sell. Oh, the bots sure? thing. Yeah, like, oh, bot the bots tickets, are getting yeah. ridiculous. Mm-hmm. I had a conversation for three days. It was completely realistic. Somebody pretending to have, like, oh, sorry, wrong number. Like, and not unbelievable was texting like about things I was like saying back re- replying like a normal fucking person and somebody goes those are fake yeah it's a new thing it's AI bot shit now and I'm like uh, we're in trouble sometimes there's way too much detail like especially this, the but, ticket ones they'll be like dude this wasn't like to go that to this show at this date on yeah, this, yeah this that city, I get this venue this was not like that like they include everything from like the event page probably. this one was like literally I wish I had saved it because I just deleted it I wish I had saved it so you could see how accurate it was yeah it was just like oh I live in uh, California where are you from and I'm like Arkansas they're like oh what part like completely what you would well, fucking you ask somebody a, yeah like, a computer like they immediately know like Oh, you're from uh, you're from Sardis. Of course, Sardis? it knows, but it's just it's like putting in all the little details, and it's like, <laughs> and it would add like the nuance bits. I think that's what they figured out. That's yeah. where we have a hard time, or at least I had a hard time tracking it. And somebody goes, "No, dude, don't. If it's not a number you have in your phone, don't reply." And I'm like, "We're there." Was this like a? This was like someone texting you. Texting. Oh, okay. That's, That's crazy. Weird. And it it's came from like social media. And it didn't come from like a bot style. You know, it's usually like one eight 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 two four two four two. You know, it's like some weird fuck you're like, get the fuck out of here. Mm-hmm. No, it was like a normal ass number. And it was like, I need the blah 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 blah. And I was like Maybe they're just like waiting for you to be like Well what's crazy who you are. is I was <laughs> driving around, it was nighttime, you know it was cool outside, I had my windows down, I was vibing. Mm. It was fun as like and it was just like Oh, and I was like, Oh hey, wrong number uh da, 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 and they replied sorry about that da, and i just answered one more time and then they hooked me that is so weird now your best no 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 <laughs> no 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 gone now out see ya well there's no telling where it came from but it was uh we're doomed yeah, yeah that's we're not gonna know like, commercials honestly. we're not gonna know yeah. like ads we'll never know like facebook ads are don't ever buy anything from a facebook ad mm-hmm. it's all fake there's not a single fucking thing you can buy from well, Facebook. Instagram is now making you and hey. tagging shit as made with AI. I'm really? Sure Facebook will follow suit. But, but then still... they just add AI to the whole fucking platform? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm. But they're like, well, they're like, look, it's fine. We don't care. But you have to explicitly tell people that it, this has AI involved. Nefarious. But what if you don't? Exactly. It's pretty obvious usually. Uh, but uh, but I've, I've seen a lot of like, photographers being I'm like, telling yeah, you. this got flagged as made with AI, and it's not. Like, it's straight right. Camera, like, that kind of so anyone, well, it's because anyone can flag anything they want, so if they don't like you, yeah. it's just, not you know. Not that it's like a it's, bad thing, it's just it pops up and it says this was made with AI. But they, okay, so that, but then that thing, I remember that thing I sent you not a couple, but the note shit, remember that? I'm not going to say it out loud because it's fucked. Remember that shit? I was like, dude, is this fucking real? Oh, yeah. And it's like, you're like, yeah, they added that feature like yesterday. Yeah. And that somebody, feature's gone now, by the way. Thank God. They got rid of it the same day. Uh, I wish I could tell you. I'm not gonna, I'll show it to you. Mm. It's so fucked what was on the top of my... I had to be like, Kurt's hip. I s- screenshot oh, sent it to Kurt. Hip. And I was like, well, dude, is this fucking legit or is this bot so, shit? So Instagram yeah. stories, like the in, like in the messages, you, you know, like how you put at the top, like... Have you, you seen this whatever. Instagram thing? Mm-mm. The stories, you know, there's two stories now. There's the stories everyone sees, and then there's the stories in Messenger where only you see it, right? I like, haven't like seen that. these things at the top. Oh, like at the, the top of Messenger. Yeah. yeah. So they added a way where you could like post like a question, Hidden. And people could reply to it, but it like made it anonymous. So you couldn't see who posted the question. Yes. And someone posted some very unhinged shit, and it showed him, and I was like... More than once. I did more research, and I was like, well, it has to be someone you follow. So it's that's someone... The only stuff you see. Yeah. But when I show you, and, and uh, you understand yeah, that it's, I that's somebody I know, it's like, I don't even want to have this fucking app on my phone at the... Like, it's insane. Yeah. That's crazy. I was, was like... I, like I, I, the only thing I could tell Kurt is like, well, I hope it's a joke. Mm-hmm. I hope they're joking, because this is fucking crazy. It's criminal. Like... Blew my fucking mind. Yeah. Remind me after this is over. I'll show it to you. Yeah, it's yeah, fucking yeah. insane. That's crazy. I should have screenshotted all of it because people were replying and I just wanted to be like, I'll fucking kill you. Like, I, I wanted to be like a matter of factly about it. Like, mm. you're fucking out of your mind. You need to be yeah. in prison. Well, I was trying to figure it out because it's like, and then again, they took the, there was a lot of shit going on because they took it away yeah, thank God. the same day. Thank God. But it was like. They need to take that whole it, ass feature away. automatically made you reply to it. 
but it would make it auto, like anonymous. And then I saw the people who were replying to it, and I was like, well, I don't, it's none of these people. Right. But the way it was making me do it made it seem like it right. was one of those people. Right. Yeah. And there was one person on both of those that applied to both. Really? But, yeah. But I don't, it wasn't them. Interesting. That is so weird. Yeah, I don't know. They, thankfully, they got rid of that shit immediately. They, they were like, whoops, we were to put in safety protocols to oh. not oh. make oh. this fucking weird Whoops. Shit. Oh, <laughs> imagine that. I'm sorry, we actually created yeah. Yik Yak again. Yeah, oh, Facebook no. did something that was fucking dumb as shit. Imagine. God, they're terrible. We gotta find something. The world, we need something new, dude. Zanga, bring it back. The world was so much cooler when Zanga was around. Mm-hmm. Or what was the what was the what was the one? What was Isn't the one? it crazy to think about how Zanga, we used to put our like there was friends on Zanga. display on our profiles? Yes. Like, that's so weird to think about. Oh, MySpace? Yo, MySpace ruled, dude. Top eight. But people got so shit. mad. We Literally like, so games. mad over that shit. So mad. I'm like, t- you know, it, it became such a fucking thing that they made top 16. Mm-hmm. And then it was like top 32. And we're like, okay, it's just all Too your much. friends are the top. I just yeah. Like bands in it, though, like that kind of thing. Some people did that, their yeah, workaround. That was the, that was the, well, like, it's, it's Pepsi and, 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 uh, Huba steak. Don't worry. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, <it was> like, <laughs> What's your favorite, uh, okay, here you go. What's your favorite fucking bullshit band that people are like, that's dog water. Why do you listen to this? So my, mine are bands that are now famous again for some weird reason because kids don't like to hate on things anymore. They want to make it like Creed is popular again. Yeah. I, I don't like fucking. I didn't like them then. I don't like them now. It's weird to me that they're famous, but I get it because my bands are like like Corn, Limp Biscuit. That mm-hmm. was my era. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So used to, if I said Limp Biscuit's fucking rules, people would be like, you're a fucking idiot. That band <laughs> sucks. And now everyone's like, Limp Biscuit fucking rules. I think. I think mine would. People are probably gonna be like, "What the fuck?" But I feel like. Is it Hoopa Stank? No, surprisingly. <laughs> um, I really liked Twenty One Pilots. That's not bad. I really like them, and a lot of people are like, "Uh, about them." Is that the? Boom. Hey. I've yeah. been trying to sing and right. Like, what is it? That that song? I sing a lonely night. No. What is that one? So. No. Uh, Which one's Twenty One Pilots? Twenty One Pilots is the two guys. Uh, one of them, he always plays brother, the drum. Yeah. Play me a song, Kurt. Do a do a Twenty One oh, Pilots. Speakers. Oh yeah, fuck. Your phone but they're sucks. like stressed out is one of their popular songs. They're just like mm, I'm stressed out. Mm. <laughs> 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 All I heard was uh, like freak out. <laughs> That's what I heard. Stressed out. They're very popular. They play strictly arenas, basically. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I know they're popular. I just can't think of the song. Yeah, but they well, released a new album. Video. But that's not even. I don't. I feel like that's not even bad. People don't like that band. Yeah. Really. How do you feel about people lining up to shows like two days before the show? Happens? I get it. I used to be a line person. I, I would never. I wouldn't do it now. That 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 part of me is out of Here's my, my thing. body. If it's somewhere like the hall <clears> and it's GA and like. You gotta get there early to get up front if you want to get up front. That's like, what I'm saying. Yeah. Like, that was most well, concerts back in the day. People doing this for like arenas. Like you have a assigned seat and all that shit. Tents well, not on shit. the floor. Not on the floor, you don't. A lot of times on the floor, yeah, they still do seats. It depends. Oh, for like bullshit like the Eagles or something. But if I'm going to see fucking Foo Fighters. I'm going to see Fall Boy. There were seats. Fuck off. I'm serious? Well, that's lame as fuck. Yeah. Are you serious? That's well. That's on them. They're, that's lame. I don't know now. I don't know if those decisions are made by the band or the venue. I, I'm sure it's different. It's got to be the band. But that's got to be a band thing. Eagles, yeah. yeah Eagles I don't think seats. the venue gives a shit. They're just like, we want money. What's well, so mm-hmm. Call of seats. Yeah, that's different though. That's a fucking performer. Uh, they they want you to sit down. Fallout Boy's a rock band. That's still not GA Pit. Yeah, exactly. So if I want to be fucking front row watching some fucking. Slipknot, which I, whatever I used to, but you know. You wouldn't go see Slipknot? No, this is so fucking boring. Sorry. Slipknot's boring? Now they are. Oh my god. Well, I saw I them like when they used more. to do backflips <laughs> and fucking kick each other in the teeth <laughs> and shit. Like it was much more exciting. Years old now, Corey. Well, yeah, I get it. That's why it's boring. <coughs> they have the stuff is doing everything for them. <laughs> mm-hmm. Hey, and you know what? I fucking saw them and Corn, and I left. Because I only wanted to see corn and corn open for them, which it should have been the other way around, especially here mm-hmm. in Arkansas. Oh, it was King 810. And King they King and they fucking corn always corn kills so it. Fucking, they had the floor that lit up. Yes, they never don't fucking yeah. kill it. And then right after that is Slipknot. I left and I heard from everyone they were like corn was way better. I was like, of course they were. Yeah. 
Yeah, and they're like in their sixties. Someone, someone yeah. like was friends with security and got me a wristband and gave me on the floor. I paid ten dollars to go to that show. I paid oh, yeah. I paid full price. But eh. where was that? All tell? It was yeah, similar. Yeah, all tell? Oh sit sim- 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 well, whatever. It was, the fuck. it was uh Verizon Arena Same thing. <laughs> I'm so sick of fucking things changing the name around Verizon here. Arena was confusing because there's so many like Verizon Arena, Verizon Theater, Verizon like all over this. Yeah, but God almighty. Anyway, what is it now? Simmons. Simmons, Bay, Simmons, Bay, yeah. Simmons Jesus yeah. Christ. Simmons At least owns Simmons Rock. owns Little Rock, yeah. Let's just keep it that way. Stop selling the shit. Right. Well, I think they bought the, they bought the naming rights for like... It's like well, the tower, the, that building, their actual building, the one that lights up like Eddie Van Halen at night. Well, mm-hmm. their headquarters is still in Pop Bluff. And then... The Bluff. And then... Uh, That's where like the president should the, work out of. Pine Bluff? Their Simmons Bank started in Pine Bluff. That's Whoa. Where yeah. I didn't know that. I like Simmons. Yeah. That's yeah. where they're from. My identity's been stolen 19,000 times, but they always give me my money back. So <laughs> as I don't. long as they fix it. That's what I mean. So if you fix it, it's fine. Yeah, like, your money back in a new car. Don't let it happen again. What's funny, too, it's like you're hacking a it's guy who has no money. Mm. Wouldn't you think you'd peak first? Like, if you're a criminal. Mm. If I was a criminal and I can if hack. I'm a criminal, I would look up how much money you had before I stole from you. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> Like, if I can peek in your bank account, I'm like, man, this guy's only got $189. I, I guess I'll pass. But they can't. I'll just get Jerry <laughs> like, right next to him. He has, like, 40000 Yeah, yeah, yeah. <clears throat> well, you can hack any fucking thing. They don't. It doesn't matter. They don't have my PIN number to spend it on Amazon either. Mm. My, see, the one time it happened to me, it was like they, like, like, well, like, like stole my information, put it on a card. And then, like, went to a gas station. Yeah, they, they put it on a order. fake card is what they do. Or they'll order something online. They just mine used the a digits. They just like bought gift cards. Yeah, mine was a card. PlayStation 2, one of the ones. I was like, really? And it's not even a fucking... No, 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 no. This was after there was other shit out. Yeah. Yeah, this was like one of the first times my identity got stolen. Yeah, they, were like, they were like, hey, I don't know if PS3's out, but I'm going to go easy. <laughs> it was a fucking PS2, <laughs> dude. It wasn't even like the hot item. I was like, what, PS2? What the fuck? That's I think crazy. it was probably from like a GameStop or some shit. Oh, I was like, come on. Somebody's out here hacking motherfuckers. You have the ability to steal money for well, free. You can go online and, and buy people's credit card numbers. Well, exactly. It's not easy. But but I'm saying, you you did this, you took all this time to do this, and you, you were after a PS2. <laughs> like, jail time really worth the PS2? They don't get caught. They don't even give a fuck anymore. Mm. I feel like they don't prosecute it at all. Mm. Unless it's like a couple billion dollars, you're fine. Hell yeah. So I have a question. Billion dollars. Years. So the future is imminent, right? It's imminent. It's coming to us. Can't stop it from happening. Can't stop yep. it. Can't stop it's it. Won't stop. AI. You have two options. Jesus Christ. You can either go the shrinking route, where they make you a tiny person, and you live in like a normal society, but it's like in a bubble or whatever the fuck. You've seen, you've yeah. probably seen the movie. Or Downsizing there's with Matt Damon. called Uploaded. No, where I'd rather they, shrink. Like, upload you to like a digital world. No. Yeah, yeah, I'd pass on the digital world. I want to live my life regular. I'd rather be a shrunk person. <laughs> Same. Uh, that's what I'm saying. You have to do either one. Like, yeah, no, no, no. It's it. shrinking. That's that's an easy fucking question. Okay. I'll be a tiny person. I'll but be if tiny. You're uploaded, like, you get to live forever. I don't care about you that. Know what I, mean? I don't want to live forever. Mm. That's true. Same. I like the fact that this has a finite end. I want to I want to fill it up with as much cool shit as I can. Yeah. And at the end of it, the the only time you you're only remembered as long as the last person you knew is alive. Mm. So, Damn, I just want to do. Nice. Right. <laughs> well, I mean, you know, unless you make a huge impact, which what there's only what a fucking thousand of those. Mm. The the history book's only this thick. You know what I'm saying? Like yeah. we only remember so many of them. Like it's not Genghis. We're not. I'm not Genghis Khan. Mm-hmm. You know, and I know that. I'm not gonna be remembered forever. There's not gonna be any statues of me. That's fine. I don't care about that. Yeah, I don't yeah, want yeah. any fucking statues. You don't want a, a grill named after you, Genghis Grill. <laughs> Corey's Grill. <laughs> Fisher Grill. Ugh, real fish, fish. Don't, gross. They don't serve fish. They don't serve fish at all. Uh, but it's on the beach. But in like yeah, why the fuck? No, I don't want to. I don't want to live forever at all. And even mm-hmm. if there's nothing or there's something on the other side, at least I want to experience that too. Yeah. Like, fuck. Like no, yeah, fuck no. Forever seems unbearable. Like, life is great, but it's also not something I want to do all forever for all time. That's crazy. I it, want an end at some point. All of my life. Well, because of, especially 
What if people you know don't choose that? What if there's multiple options in this scenario? So. Well, the whole plot of shrinking is like him and his wife are going to. I know they're going to do it, and then she chickens out. out. Yeah, I know. I've seen the movie. Yeah. It's pretty good. It's all right. It's there, fine. There are aspects of it that they could have gone way. But better. they downsize they your money too. So if you have money. like. No, they upsize your money. Well, that's what I'm saying. So you you shrink and the the profit goes up because you're yeah. big dollar. Well, it's like they had like a hundred thousand yeah. dollars, but in the shrunk world they had like one point five million. Right. So I would have like a hundred thousand dollars. Hell yeah. <laughs> I would have about uh, two hundred dollars. Which is good enough for me. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Dude, could you imagine if you had a hundred grand right now? I would cry. What would you do with it? Hmm. Would you do? Would you be smart or would you just be like fuck it? A, I would try to be smart. Man. I think. Would you? I think so. You seem smart. I'd be reckless. I would want to be reckless, but I most of my life I've had like financial issues, so I'm like, okay, hmm, that's I should be. This smart. could be like the way to crawl out of the hole. Yeah, I mean, at the very least, you could buy like a small home and a land and be completely paid for. Mm. You, you wouldn't have to worry about rent and shit go. anymore. No, you can still. You can get shit for hundred. You absolutely can go to Pine Bluff, Detroit. You can get a house for ten grand. You have to fix it. Yeah, but it's yours. You don't ever have to worry about it. They can't ever. No one can take it from you. They can if you miss the property tax. But what's property tax on a ten thousand dollar house? Mm-hmm. Well, Fuck fifty parents, bucks. Like, they bought a tiny little house with some land. It's like seventy five grand. It's worth yeah. like almost two hundred grand now. I get that, but you can still do it. You just like it's not going to be. Years. But you also have a hundred grand, so you take ten of it, <clears throat> buy a property with a fucking house that needs work, mm-hmm. and then. Now you have ninety thousand dollars to make it not suck. Well, that's you're also a lot. This from the perspective of someone who could just fix all the shit that's wrong. You can YouTube is a thing. No, oh, you I have understand. to have. And now you have a hundred grand. You have ninety grand. You have free time. Yeah. You can watch a YouTube video and learn how to fix a furnace. It is not hard. It's literally a fucking wrench. That's it. You need one tool <laughs> to Again, fix the furnace. From the perspective of someone who yeah. knows how to fix everything very easily. I don't know. I know as much as the internet knows. If I'm willing to accept it into my brain. Right? Like Jesus Christ into your heart. Yeah. YouTube into your head hole. Right? <laughs> and so you can do anything you want if you're convinced you can just watch something and do it. All you have to be is not afraid to try. Yeah. That's it. That's the only culprit. We're our biggest fucking enemies. What if the only guy on YouTube has a really that, that, that Zayo fucking sure. that fucking Zayo album. I love it because the the fear is what keeps us here. That's so true. I've loved that title ever since I've heard it. It's so true. It is. It's your biggest fucking enemy. Mm-hmm. Is the fear of doing something either new or whatever, scary, yeah. it doesn't matter. Press publish. Press publish. So there you go. Start your pod. Do it. Come on, Sav. You got 100 grand now, yeah. You got a fictional 100 <laughs> grand and you got a plan. You need to promote and you need to start your pod. Yeah. Have and you, you have two people like, right here who can help you with the pod, yeah. like for sure. Have you ever heard of the, like, that rich person theory and it's like, fuck your bills, just carry around a shit ton of cash and you'll be rich? Yes. Fake it till you make it. It's and real. I, Fake it till you make it. Works for them half the time. Like it does. <laughs> this lady was like, yeah, I just carry around $1,000 everywhere I go, and like, my bank accounts are fucking empty. Mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah. It's a mi- she was it, like, I just act like I'm rich. And, you're more and, powerful and, than you think. Yeah, you know, like, like as a person, you know? Yeah. Like, you're in charge of your destiny for the most part. I know some of us, some parts of the world were oppressed, things like that, but if, like here, you have a damn good shot of doing something if you just try, you know. But you got to put your whole self into it. That's Boy, the thing. Really bullshit. That's well, it works, dude. We yeah. all know a bullshitter. Oh yeah. No, I'm just <laughs> Kurt actually puts his foot. Kurt. Like bullshit, be <laughs> no, Kurt actually does the work. I'm just kidding. <laughs> That's. We'll get there. I have we'll I have faith there. in us. Yeah. I just want a cool warehouse. That we can that's do that's it, dude. It's so that's the ultimate dream. I don't even care if it's a shit. Like, I know your dream is like well, the tower, and I, I I'm with you. But like, I can make any place good. But I don't need it to be good. I cool, can make it good. Yeah. A warehouse is like the size of his house, not even a big one. Just something that we can have like a front office, and then just. I need five thousand square feet. That's it. Just so do you could do a venue. Want. You could do practice space. You got a podcast studio. You could have a shooting room, like for you know film or cameras. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah. Like where we shoot shit. Right. Yeah, yeah. It's <laughs> bow and arrows. <laughs> Don't go in there right now. They're throwing axes. Oh my god. All right. How long? Very long. Very long. Yeah. We did it. We did it. Thank you for coming. Thank you for having me. Plug your stuff. Promote. Tell the world where to find you. You can find me. At Arkansas Creates on Instagram. 
I also have a Facebook, but I'm trying to get that get that ball rolling. But I'm mostly on Instagram, so Arkansas at Arkansas Creates. Give it a follow. Yes, and be stu- stay tuned for all new sorts of things. Yes, yes. Pods promoting good things. Good things. Yes. Absolutely. Uh, Crush Cast Pod on Twitter. Crush Cast Pod one. Do it, do it, do it. Put put it on my face. Do it. Oh, you can't. Fuck. Damn. Uh, Crush Cast Pod <laughs> one, <laughs> and then uh, check out the Patreon if you so indulge uh, to help us pay for all these beautiful waters and hydrate our guests. And thank you for listening. Peace. Yes. <laughs> we gotta have somebody remix the song. It's been seven years. <laughs> <laughs> it's been seven years. <laughs> no, I like that song. Like, how are you?